said I missed this because I just used Akron's technique and then I slashed through this whole part so I didn't see anything on the ground or didn't see anything shiny. Because <laughs> it was just slash, slash, slash and then you slashed all the way to the end and then you didn't see anything along the way. You did the same too. <laughs> I'm right, we can't find... We, we can't find Firefly in real life. I can't seem to find any information on this artist in the Iris family's archives. The photo you provided also doesn't show any matches. That's the side thought. I like to ask, what kind of traces do people leave when they enter a dream? Are you referring to the records when you enter the dream pool? The equipment will monitor physiological indicators such as heart rate, blood oxygen levels, and body temperature in real time. The data will be included in statistics and handed over to the family for screening. Immediate action will be taken once any illegal behavior is detected. Feels like our every move is being watched. Please rest assured your vitals are monitored in case of emergencies, allowing us to wake you if necessary. This is all for the safety of our guests. It is hard to balance the safety and the privacy. Because it is really safe if you always had something, like if you always wore something at all times on you, that the hospital could just check <laughs> and check your vitals and check where you are and check everything about you. All surveillance is for safety. <laughs> but at some point, it's like, but then what if you're using the information for other things? It's like too... It is hard to balance the, the safety, all surveillance is for safety. <laughs> to be truly safe, we need to monitor everything smothered in safety. Um, Can I trouble you to access the records? Sorry, I apologize, the hotel does not have access. The information is managed by the Bloodhound family. It's time to check out the Bloodhound family. It's time to ask the Bloodhound family for information. Thank you for your assistance. By the way, is Miss Robin doing fine? We are looking forward to her performance. What do you mean? Fine. Is there something wrong with Miss Robin? The preparations for the Charmony Festival have been proceeding smoothly, so I guess things are pretty good. I believe she'll be able to put on a spectacular show for all of you. I'm sure. Sure enough, no one knows about Miss Robin, but I'm not surprised. But that Miss Firefly is truly mysterious. There's no information on her in the hotel system. Even if she's a stowaway, she should have a disguised identity after entering the planet. She's also in the running for the legacy. How is she going to sneak into the dreamscape unnoticed? Is there another way to enter the dream? The Garden of Recollection, Stellaron Hunters. The 
The mammal keepers have abilities that are difficult for normal people to comprehend. In the memory zone of Panacone, they thrive effortlessly. A fact proven to us? Wait, we were cliffhanged by so many things? We didn't find out what happened to Black Swan's phone call and then Sunday's... Sunday and adventuring. We're probably gonna get cliffhanged here and then we're gonna go to Acheron and... And, well, we don't even know what they talked about yet. <laughs> There's so many different lines now. But I guess that's what makes for an interesting story. You have a lot of suspense all over the place. <laughs> you go from one cliffhanger to another cliffhanger and then you just keep on... You wanna keep... Keep playing. <laughs> <laughs> to find out what's going on only for the story to end on another cliffhanger I heard <laughs> Shaoji cooking, Shaoji cooking lots of different dishes at the same time I have a, I have an image of Shaoji in the kitchen He's making like five different dishes at once First he finished this part, now he needs to move on to the next dish And then cook up some parts over there And then we need to move on to the third dish <laughs> And then we finish up Ah, he's making a buffet for everyone. <laughs> it's the sparkle trailer picture at the very end. Cooking a whole course. I'm really enjoying the different POV storytelling too. Ah,星河猎手的骇客小姑娘用非常手段解开了梦境酒店的封锁，且根据她看到的现场，刘莹小姐一案背后是他们在推理。a hacker girl from the Stellaron Hunter used extraordinary means to unlock the Dreamscape Hotel seal. According to the scene witnessed by Sweetly, it is likely they're behind Miss Firefly's case. 流光一停，还有星河猎手，确实都有可能呢。那公司呢？他们想得到匹诺康尼，肯定也会有所准备吧？ What about the IPC? I thought we were. We were corroborating with adventuring. Since they want Panacone all to themselves, they're bound to have a plan. Nervous guest. Who are you guys? Oh. Wait. <laughs> Speaking of the IPC. <laughs> But they're all they're playing the sparkle theme music. <laughs> I recognize this song because I put it in my I put it in my my videos. <laughs> 早上早上好，Sending欢迎回来. Silver Wolf Hackerman moment. These guys again. The Bravo team has arrived at their designated position, ready to execute. Armed evacuation operation. Boys get moving. I do like this music. <laughs> That's the BGM of my Why You Should Not Pull Acheron. <laughs> it sparkles. The theme, the theme song? Not her trailer music. Arm, armed evacuation? Boss, are you drunk? <laughs> <laughs> what do you know? It's more efficient this way. Just don't let the director find out. Act first, report later. Understood? <laughs> Help me! I spent all my year-end bonus on the snowball. I don't want my name on the department's major disciplinary notice. What? I recognize these people. Could it be the IPC workers from Bello Park? <laughs> oh, is it the same team even? The IPC will be conducting special operations within the hotel. Please follow the staff in charge. Of evacuation to the designated safe zones, the compulsory measures will be enforced. <gasps> Topazi <laughs> I'll request a beating for you lot. You've been told not to drink during work hours. I wasn't expecting Topaz here, though they she did say she was coming to Panacone. Topa 
take him back to the hotel room. 房间我拉个会议，好好复盘一下事故报告该怎么写。I'll organize a meeting later to properly go over how this incident report should be read. <laughs> how to pass? How pass, 小姐。没想到会在匹诺康尼遇见你。I never thought I'd run into your support squad, Andrew and Panacone. 好久不见，星球列车的各位。你们的事，我从沙金那里都听说了。Long time no see. Adventuring told me a lot about your happenings. 没关系，就按他们要求的做，尽量避免和家族起冲突。采取任何行动前，先和我汇报。嗯，嗯，好。Fine, do as they ask. Try to avoid any conflicts with the family. Report to me before taking any action. 啊，如你们所见，公司在皮诺康尼可是不太受欢迎。家族的地主之意也只是表面客气，曾经的边陲监狱，如今要反过来给公司职员戴上镣铐了。As you can see, the IPC isn't very popular here, because they're trying to take the take the pedicone back. <laughs> Cordiality from the family is a mere facade. The former frontier prison has turned around and cuffed its shackles on the IPC staff now. Thank you for the hydra, Vivian. Me drink some water. Nobody likes the tax collectors. These aren't the tax collectors, though. These are like your 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 slavers, right? They're not here to take money. They're here to pretty much. They want to take the whole control back of Panacone. They're not just asking for some money. <laughs> They're asking for the whole planet back. They want to get the whole planet and everything. Cause it used to be. I, I guess it technically also used to be theirs. So it's not. They're not here to uh, conquer. They're here to. And they're more like colonizers. <laughs> Though technically they they owned. I'm not sure how they got this. Place, but they owned the the planet previously. 也只有带着邀请函的沙金被允许参加盛会。我们这些随行人员连入梦资格都没有，只能在现实酒店停留。Only a v e n t u r i n who carries an invitation is allowed to attend the banquet. An entourage like us can only sit around in the reality hotel. That's how come the support squad went and got drunk. They don't have anything else to do. Unauthorized to even enter dreams. 难怪沙金到处找人合作，原来他在梦境里得不到公司的援助。No wonder Aventuring is scrambling to partner up with everyone. The IPC can't back him up in the dreamscape. 听说他处境不太乐观，你们再帮忙调查一些对家族不利的事，对吧？在梦境外边，有什么需要随时和我说。公司向来不会亏待合作伙伴。I heard his situation isn't optimistic. You're all helping to investigate some dirt on the family, are you not? Let me know if you need anything outside the dreamscape. The IPC always treats its partners well. I'm really curious what to, what what Venturin promised Topaz for her stone. Thank you, Topaz 小姐。我们正要找猎犬们打听案情，也许你已经和他们打过交道了。Thank you, Miss Topaz. We're on our way to the Hounds for to verify some intel. Perhaps you've had dealings with them. No, 就在后边跟着呢。Oh, 找他们就行。The Hounds are already on their tail. 一直被人盯着太难受了。Why not go and talk to them? It'll take the spotlight off of me. Being constantly stared at is really uncomfortable. Optional talk to Topaz. Ask the Bloodhound for clues. Although the investigation is heading nowhere, you happen to bump into Topaz and the loyal Bloodhound members who follow her everywhere to keep a close eye on the IPC people. You've read enough detective novels to know that police officers usually have no value except supporting the detective <laughs> and providing key clues. It's time for them to play their part. <laughs> I love the commentary in the quest section. 
和沙金做生意的感觉怎么样？一定不太习惯吧 ？How does it feel to be in business with that venture? I bet you're not used to it. We don't even have a say in the matter. 那人的风格就这样，所有或者一无所有，是他的老口头禅了。他总是一边套近乎，一边推着客户陪他铤而走险。人各有志，我不多评价。Justice. That's just his style. All or nothing is his mantra. He's always cozying up to his clients while egging them on to undertake some dangerous assignment with him. But everyone has their merits. I won't comment further. 所有，或一无所有。不过沙金的运气确实很好，经手的案子大多圆满落幕，基本没赌输过。所以在收复匹诺康尼这件事上，我也拭目以待。He seems to be leaning towards the nothing part currently, but adventuring's luck. Av adventuring. <laughs> Always add a D in adventuring. Cian <laughs> Topaz sounds like a real office lady. It really matches her persona. <laughs> But adventuring's luck has always been really has always been good. He's always closed all his cases without a hitch and basically never lost a gamble. That is a part of his. He is lucky, but I felt like he had to pay a high price for the luck. Which is why on the issue of retaking Penacony, I'm watching with keen interest. 当然，交易嘛，重要的是你坐在桌子哪边。When your interests are aligned, of course, it's business after all. What's important is where you're seated at the table. 至于两起案件，抱歉，我手上的信息也不多，详情只能拜托各位继续调查了。As for the two cases, apologies, but I don't have much info on them either. All I can do is ask you to keep digging for more details. Careless bloodhound member. We're carrying our captain's orders. What do you want? We're carrying our captain's orders. What do you want? We're carrying our captain's orders. What do you want? We're carrying our captain's orders. What do you want? We're carrying our captain's orders. What do you want? We're carrying our captain's orders. What do you want? We're carrying our captain's orders. What do you want? We're carrying our captain's orders. What do you want? We're carrying our captain's orders. What do you want? We're carrying our captain's orders. What do you want? We're carrying our captain's orders. What do you want? We're carrying our captain's orders. What do you want? We're carrying our captain's orders. What do you want? We're carrying our captain's orders. What do you want? We're carrying our captain's orders. What do you want? We're carrying our captain's orders. What do you want? We're carrying our captain's orders. What do you want? We're carrying our captain's orders. What do you want? We're carrying our captain's orders. What do you want? We're carrying our captain's orders. What do you want? We're carrying our captain's orders. What do you want? We're carrying our captain's orders. What do you want? We're carrying Thank you, I'm um, Duke, for gifting a subscription to Saishi House. Thank you for gifting them a subscription. We made a mistake last time, and we're working hard to rectify it now. We don't have time for anything else. Surveilling the IPC executive Topaz, ensuring that she stays put at the Reverie Hotel during her time on Panacone. We've got the right one this time. <laughs> 原来如此。So, oh, it's the two who are harassing Firefly. Remember me? <laughs> Her expression. Remember me? Uh oh. How did you get here? You want to collect the money? This time, we won't be afraid of you. It's you again, back from more trouble. We're not afraid of you this time. You have words to say. No matter what, don't call us back. Spit it out! Stop bothering us if you've nothing important. 原来你们认识。哎，你怎么到哪儿都没遇见做过的人呢 ？So you know each other. Why do you always keep running into people you've beaten up before? Another trio or duo squad. I've got business with their captain. Where is he? I need you to pull some records for me. It's for official business. When's our lunch break? Hungry. 哎呀，你怎么老喜欢问这个？我们正在为家族调查凶案呢。可以找你们的长官聊聊案情吗 ？Why do you keep asking that? We're in the middle of investigating a murder case for the family. May we speak to your captain about it? <laughs> they really give the troll blazer troll choices. The third troll choice. This. Hmm. Wait. Captain, give me a warning. He came from the Dream Palace before the dawn. He didn't let anyone in. The security officer instructed everyone to shut their traps before returning from the Dream's Edge. Hmm. What crime? What murder? You better stop spouting nonsense. Yes. Yes. We're not afraid. 
Nothing to report, please. 看来是不愿配合呀。不过，他们直接把长官在筑梦边境的事交代了。Looks like they're not going to cooperate, but they told us the captain is at Dream's Edge. 那我们直接去找那位治安官不就好了？应该就是他提到的加拉赫吧。Time to meet Gallagher. Head to Dream's Edge. You learn that Gallagher is currently at the Dream's Edge from some blabbing Bloodhound member members. Coincidentally, you had an encounter with Gallagher before. You might be able to access the investigation scene set up by the Bloodhounds by showing your face to Gallagher and claim more information about the cases from him. Bloodhound family member. Apologies, the Bloodhound family is running an investigation up ahead. No unauthorized personnel allowed. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I think I've seen you before, the gray-haired one. Uh, How much trouble have you stirred up from Penakani? This ain't it, Chief. You've got the wrong gal. That's right, it's a peacock. <laughs> you think you look alike? How about a clockwork trick? Are you <laughs> Are you for real? Wait, this is the guy who we played the clockwork trick on to escape on our firefly date, right? Isn't this the guy we had to get past and he wouldn't let us go past that one place and then we had to pull out the clockwork trick on him? And then he let us pass. <laughs> it is him! I was like, his hair, I remember. It's the, it's the guy who we sent. We sent through a wild spiral of 12 emotions. I remember. It's another victim of our emotional manipulation. It was you. Yelling about some clockwork friendship while beating me up with that silver-haired girl. Did we, did we, oh, we did fight. Oh, we did beat him up. <laughs> March, March, awkward, our awkward silence. Um. I'm not letting you get by this time, no matter what. Please leave, or I'll have to get on my knees and beg you. Sweetly, what kind of heinous crime have you committed? Just some emotional manipulation. It didn't even work though, we had to fight him, I remember. We scarred him mentally and physically. Hold on, sir. We have documents authorized by the family that would aid your investigation. If I wouldn't trouble you, could we see this, Mr. Gallagher? He we call the ever so diplomatic one. Is that not his real name? He's a Bloodhound family member. Who exactly is this Gallagher you keep talking about? There have been a few people mentioning this name, even the one with the gray hair. Huh? Didn't he send you all here? They don't... They don't know his name? It was the security officer who dispatched us. That's all I can divulge. Isn't that it? He's the one we're looking for. That's no can do. The boss said it's a matter of the family's reputation. No one is allowed through. Please leave. There's really no need for us to make things difficult for each other, right? Very sorry to bring you trouble. Let's go. Let's think of another way, sweetly. Sorry for troubling you. Let's think of another way, sweetly, March. Another way? 
Didn't Swirly say something about that? What was it? Cl clockwork? That caused this guy to change his mind. <laughs> We've done enough damage. March seems to be on board here. Is Himiko gonna stand by? Can you perform it again, <laughs> Swirly? That clocky magic? Just what I've been waiting for. But I can't abuse it for evil doings. What if we say just what I've been waiting for? <gasps> Please, sweetily, will we use the clockwork on the principal bloodhound family member? <laughs> oh, poor guy! You cross paths with the principal bloodhound family member once more, as he seems to remain a man of principles. <laughs> You might need to revert to your old tricks to make him cooperate. Oh no. March is that friend who usually... Yes, who usually is your straight man until she wants chaos. <laughs> no can do. You and this bloodhound family member have met before. And you know he's very upright. Are you also aware that principles sometimes don't matter when a person is in a good mood? Activate clockwork. Happy? Principal Bloodhound Family Member. I love how they named him Principal Bloodhound Family Number Member. Good afternoon, Aina Nightfall. Welcome back. <laughs> he sounds so happy. Let me see what time it is now. Is it time to get off work? <laughs> time to clock out. No one's gonna stop me. Uh, maybe I should have tried the other ones. He has different lines from the last one. And the tone is perfect. The VA for this guy must have had so much fun. I wanna listen again. <laughs> the lines are so good! The highly principled member of the Bloodhound family laughed heartily and left the scene. <laughs> I was not expecting this one. He actually just went up and left. Very, very highly principled indeed. He waited uh... until she was off work at least. Very principled. When it's work time, you work. When it's not time to work, you go back and do your non-work things. So much for his principles. <laughs> no, he's still principled. It's, a, it's the principle of the work-life balance. When your shift's over, you dip out and it's time to do your other 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 things. <laughs> Just because he dipped doesn't mean he's not principled. Uh, uh, <laughs> Swiddly, this clockwork trick of yours... It's kind of dangerous. At least he at least he won't be getting in our way again. Let's go find Gallagher and ask him the intricacies of the case. <laughs> this is being principled. Do you work hard during work? In off hours, you're now working and having fun. Himiko isn't too happy. I'm surprised Himiko didn't speak up a bit more. We finally get to talk to Gallagher. What's up? I was wondering what the commotion was. It's you guys. Welcome. Since you made it here, what can I do for you? From your tone of voice, it sounds like you were expecting us. <laughs> You're too polite. No need to call me, sir. Mr. Gallagher, you even know my name? 
知道，怎么不知道？你们可是大名鼎鼎的星穹列车，钟表匠的贵客。Of course I do. You folks are from the legendary Astro Express and honorable guests of the Watchmaker. 我在黄金的时刻，与这位小姐有过一面之缘。记得当时，那位银色头发的小姑娘也在。I had an encounter with this lady in the golden hour. I remember, at the time, the little silver-haired girl was there too. 我对那孩子的遭遇深表惋惜。I'm sorry for what happened to that kid. That's exactly what we're here to ask about. 这也是我们前来拜访加拉赫先生的理由。列车不能对那孩子的死坐视不理。决定协助家族查清真相，希望能为他讨个公道。This is also the reason why we've come to visit you. The express can't just overlook the death of that child, so we've decided to help the family get to the bottom of it, in the hopes of getting justice for her. 无名客竟也和家族搅和在一起了，天意弄人啊 ！The nameless involved with the family. What an unpredictable twist of fate! 家族，怎么了吗 ？What's wrong? In Chinese, it felt like he said more of like what a cruel twist of fate. 嫌疑弄人 has a more negative connotation on the kind of like a twi what a cruel twist of fate. What's wrong with the family? 没什么，别在意。在匹诺康尼，所有人都喜欢家族。He's definitely hiding something. It's nothing. On Panacone, everyone loves the family. What do you mean? 再怎么抗拒美梦的人，到了时候也会变得舍不得。有谁会愿意离开温暖的窝？只有傻瓜、小孩子，还有脑袋不清醒的酒鬼。No matter how much one resists the beautiful dream, when the time comes, they too will find it hard to let go. Who wants to leave a warm nest? Just idiots, little kids, and inebriated, and inebriated fools. He must be part of the last one who wants to leave the warm nest. Idiots, little kids, and inebriated fools. Is it ineb inebriated? Oh, 加拉赫先生似乎意有所指。Mr. Gallagher seems to be getting at something. You seem to be hinting at something. You 误会了，我没有。You're wrong. I'm not. Long e inebriated. Oh, it is inebriated. He does look like he drinks a lot. <laughs> Indeed. Was he? I don't think he was ever clean shaven in any live streams. His whole thing is his. He's the first. Harry, <laughs> he's the first guy with facial hair that Hoyoverse has created. <laughs> Not sure about Harry. He's the first first male character with facial hair that is showing that we can pull from the banner. I think. 你们想聊案子，可以跟我来吧。这地儿不适合说话，咱们挪个窝。You wanna discuss the case? Come with me. This is not a good place to talk. Let's go elsewhere. Oh, at this moment on the other side, another. Even if there is a lot of noise and unpleasant sounds, this dream still continues to move on. Even after that chilling tragedy, this dream is still running effortlessly. Outside of the family, I can't imagine that there is any other force in the universe. Other than the family of the harmony, it's hard to imagine any other power in the universe that could sustain a building of such magnitude. The family itself is a huge, perfect building, just like a living god. The family itself is a huge, perfect building, almost like a living idol. A living statue. 每位家族成员都将自己视作神体的一块拼图，围绕着唯一的核心，共同的理想，在他的指挥下，忠诚的各司其职，奉献自我
同时，又反受其给养。But she paid us half the missing puzzle pieces. Each member of the family sees themselves as a piece of the divine puzzle, revolving around a singular core and a shared ideal. Under their command, they loyally fulfill their roles, offering themselves while also receiving sustenance in return. 很有趣的比喻，或许这就是皮诺康尼的美梦得以长存的根本。Interesting analogy. Perhaps that's why Panacone's beautiful dream. Has persisted for so long. 但人体终有其时，神躯亦然。But the human body has its limits. So does the divine. 这就不像是一位巡海游侠会发表的评论了。That doesn't sound like the kind of comment a galaxy ranger would make. Walt keeps trying to almost hint at the fact that she's not a galaxy ranger, but he wants to hear from her. 只是点出事实。瓦尔特先生一定比我更能参透各种滋味。Just pointing out the facts, Mr. Young will definitely have a better sense of what's going on than I do. 王权小姐何出此言 ？What do you mean by that, Miss Akron? 美梦正在崩溃，但并不因为某处星神、某个派系或某位具体的来客。她的崩溃源自某种人性的必然。家族不愿承认这点。却在无形中反成了催化剂。The beautiful dream is crumbling, not because of a particular aeon, but not because of a particular aeon, a particular faction, or a particular visitor. Its collapse stems from a certain inevitability of human nature. The family refuses to acknowledge this, and it has ultimately backfired and become a catalyst. 当人放任精神沉溺于无需代价、没有痛苦、只有安逸和享乐的梦境时，他们和坏死的距离便会越来越近。无论他认为自己活在何种极乐中，死亡都是无从改变的结局。As people immerse their souls in the dreamscape, where consequences and pain cease to exist, and only ease and pleasure prevail. They draw closer and closer to necrosis, regardless of the perceived bliss. Death looms as the inevitable conclusion. It's kind of that they and they brought this among themselves. Regardless of the perceived bliss, death looms as the inevitable conclusion. 并且，这种坏死会传播，扩散。一块拼图的异变，最终会导致整座建筑的摇晃、破碎、崩坏。Also, this necrosis will diffuse and spread. One piece of the puzzle's mutation will eventually cause the entire building to shake, break, and crumble. 崩坏。崩坏 is the name is the Chinese characters for a Hong Kai, <laughs> undead. They give up on their real body to stay in the dream. 最后，人们为自由而建的美梦，会反过来成为囚禁自我的牢笼。Because no one wants to wake up from the dream, and in the end, the dreams that people built in the name of freedom became, becomes, became the cage and imprisoned them. 想必黄泉小姐此行收获不小，愿意同我分享一下吗 ？At this magical world where it seems like the possibilities are infinite, ends up being like a prison where you don't want to wake up. <laughs> you can still, if you if you don't, if you forget about the fact that you're in the dream, I guess you will never be in this prison state. <laughs> I'm sure you've gained a lot from this trip. Oh, this is before they have their talk. Are you willing to share your findings with me? I thought they already had their drinks. They were gonna drink four cups of wake the heck up. Hmm. 当然。前提是我还记得。Of course. That's if I remember. She says this as her hand gently rests. On the hilt of the sword, a 
and then quickly lets go in the blink of an eye. Mm -hmm. Is it because she can only remember when she takes out her sword? Ah, it is. Because of some past it's just like we saw in that other trailer. She actually says this line exactly. Don't mind me, it's just a habit. Owing to events in the past, I've become easily forgetful. It's only when the sword is unsheathed, unsh unsheathed that those hazy memories start to become clear. And the sword is like her remote disc. She needs to also... Plug it in first <laughs> before she retrieves her memory. As she saves her data and her sword, <laughs> her sword is her external hard drive. She needs to connect it, but it takes a lot of power to connect it. So you can't just have it keep plugged in. You can't always have it connected to your PC <laughs> SSD sword. <laughs> so USB sword. Yes, it is the line from the trailer. <laughs> Take your time. Zugola. Zapino Kani Fashion the Shi, what's either Han Ching Chu? Ching Wimba. Oh, she did connect the power a little bit. Sword state device. <laughs> SSD sword state device. That should do it. I vividly remember everything that occurred on Panacone. Ask away. Regarding the moment of daybreak. Ni Ming the Shi Ku. 我听说，那里坐落着加工梦境基底的早霞工厂。The moment of daybreak, I heard that's where the dawn factory, which processed the foundation of the dreamscape, is located. 梦境的声色犬马背后，是一座座想象的工厂。工人们日复一日的在梦中创造各种奇思妙想的商品，然后回到现实中，再与豪华客房相去甚远的卧榻上休息。Behind the dreamscape song and dance stand many imagination factories. Workers create all kinds of whimsical works day in and day out in their dreams. And then they return to reality and sleep on a narrow bed in a room, a far cry from luxury. They say it will suffice. Experiencing the bizarre and modly, modly dreamscape is the best reward. There I encountered a young woman who had just come of age, the perfect time to indulge in beautiful dreams. Her greatest wish was to one day move to the golden hour and see the magnificent garments that she had woven with her own hands. For certain reasons, her wish was difficult to fulfill, but I managed to bring her a garment. Regarding the gilded hour, Gilded Hour, it's said to be Panacone's currency center. The Papeshi people are in charge of the Gilded Realm. It's a fortress-like financial city, the economic heart of the dreamscape. The Papeshi people of the Alfava family are there to keep it running, sending blood that is made from money everywhere on Panacone. Sending, sending blood that is made from money everywhere on Panacone. This time, thank you for coming back. It's a little different. You like the Euro version? I like the not I like another version of that song on YouTube. I don't think it's on Spotify. What does sending blood that is made from money? 
。那里所有人都衣着精致，脚步匆匆。进入烫金的时刻工作，是当地皮皮西人对后代最大的愿望。Everyone there is exquisitely dressed and always in a hurry. The greatest wish of the local Papeshi people is for their future generations to work in the Gilded Hour, like a very honorable profession. Let me see what it, what did they say in. 嗯，那是一座森严的如同要塞的金融之城，梦境的经济心脏。苜蓿草加息的皮皮西们在那里维持它的运转。将纸钞构成的血液送向巨人匹诺康尼的各处。纸钞构成的血液。I see this blood isn't actually blood. It's like blood and sweat. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I was a bit confused. And this blood is more of like sending out the blood and sweat that is made from many everywhere on Panagoni. <laughs> I I I read the blood and I was a bit confused. That would have meant exactly. I see. Feels like some descriptions of the banks and the lifeblood of the economy are pretty accurate. 我没有遇见任何愿意交谈的人，只能站在十字路口，看着一群又一群人像风一样匆匆掠过钢铁的丛林，只为把赚来的苜蓿币锁进银行金库。She has really been walking around all the realms, observing. I've never met anyone. I never met anyone who was willing to talk there. I could only stand at the crossroads, watching crowds of people hurrying like the wind through the jungle of steel, only to deposit the alfalfa credits that they'd earned into the bank's vault. I don't know if they will open the vault door, but when I leave, I will watch the crowd of people hurrying like the wind through the jungle of steel, only to deposit the alfalfa credits that they'd earned into the bank's vault. What? Before I left, I witnessed a well-dressed. A pesky person plummet from the sky. Isn't that implying they jumped off a building, while those around him continued on their way unfazed? I don't know if they would open the vault door. I feels like the life there is is one of those to toxic working cultures. <laughs> Nobody cares. Everyone is just doing their own thing. And some people end up realizing, and then you just it almost feels like a very mechanical working environment. About the blue hour. 听说蓝调的时刻十分浪漫。黄雀小姐可曾见证了什么故事 ？I hear the blue hour is very romantic. Do you have any tales to share? 也许瓦尔特先生也听说过，那里有一艘名为黄昏号的巨轮停泊在梦海之上，轻歌曼舞。夜夜不休。Perhaps Mr. Young has heard there is a large boat called Event Height anchored along the Sea of Dreams, where soft music and dancing persist endlessly every night. 我在那里遇到一位苍老的妇人，她在港口盼着多年前离开的爱人归来，在停滞的时间里，等待了无数的时间。I ran into a wise and lady there. She was at the dock waiting for her long departed lover to return. Waiting for countless hours within time that stood still. 潮湿的海风里，他谈起自己的青春，就像许多渴望财富与机遇的人们，他们为了追逐梦想来到皮诺康尼，他的意识却消失在了梦海深处。In the humid sea breeze, she spoke of her own youth. Like many who desired wealth and love, they came to Panacone to pursue their dreams, literally their dreams. Alas, her lover's consciousness was lost in the dark depths of the sea of dreams. He got lost on the on the boat. 莫聊，他提议坐上山板，在近海上继续我们的对谈。我答应了。同他一起登上小船，可他却再没说些什么，只是茫然地望了海天相接的尽头许久。Finally, she suggested we continue our conversation on a boat in the shallows. I agreed and boarded the boat with her. 
but she never said anything. Her eyes absentmindedly gazing at the horizon for what seemed like forever. 最后，我们退回了沙滩。Finally, we retreated to the beach. About the moment of dusk. 时尚、奢侈与消费主义的梦境，薄暮的时刻，我的同伴也拜访了。The moment of cheap luxury and consumerism, the moment of dusk. It's where we spot my companions have been there too. 那你们一定见识过为实现梦想或已然实现梦想的人们在那里挥金如土，孤注一掷。一切皆可标价，一切皆可买卖。Then you all must have seen those who are attempting to realize their dreams or have realized them, scattering money as if it were dust, and betting it on all or nothing. Sounds like our adventure. Everything has a price, and everything can be bought or sold, even dreams themselves. 我在那里看见一位致谢，他准备的拍品是自我。一旦有人竞拍成功。在约定的期限和规则下，他会践行买家的一切指示，成为那人绝对的所有物。I saw an intelligent on their horse preparing to auction himself. When someone wins a bid, under stipulated periods and rules, he will do the buyer's every bidding, becoming that person's very possession. 那致谢一共被拍卖了十二次。我参加了他的第十三次拍卖会，那是我见过最人声鼎沸的盛宴，但再也没人将目光投向他。The Intellitron had been auctioned off a dozen times, and I participated in his thirteenth. That was the grandest banquet I had ever attended, but never again did anyone cast another glance at him. He, because he's been auctioned off too much, it's like one of those the he became seen as a good, and then the goods, it's almost like being nobody wants to purchase a used good kind of thing. After a dozen times, it's no longer new. It feels like one of those because he turned himself into a product. Everyone else also started viewing him as a product. And after he's been auctioned off a while, a couple, one too many times, people just view him as almost like a used good, and nobody wants him anymore. That's everything for now. 这便是我一路浅浅的见闻 That's what I've seen and heard along the way. 曾有人这么对我说，皮诺康尼在很久以前并非如此。As a her friend, last her too. She's here to fulfill someone's last request. Someone once said to me, "Panacone wasn't like this a long time ago, nor should it be." 我一路走过盛会之星的现实和梦境，看着黑夜升起又落下。时光为人们停住，而精神的富有和贫穷，也永远停留在各自的刻度。I've traveled through the reality and dreamscape of the planet of festivities, watched the tides of night rise and fall, when time stopped for people, where the spirits of the rich and impoverished remain forever fixed on their own scales. So I think, the collapse of the dream is inevitable. This is why I think the collapse of the beautiful dream is inevitable. Perhaps there's a way to change everything. 也许吧。但如果这正是人们所期望的世界，如果这正是生命选择沉睡的原因，我们还应令它做出改变吗 ？Her red text is back. Perhaps. But if this is indeed the world that people desire, if this is precisely why. Life chooses to slumber. That was the question we were asked, right? Why does life slumber? Perhaps. But if this is indeed the world that people desire, if this is precisely why life chooses to slumber, should we still seek to change it? 
If everyone just wants to fall asleep, that was the question that was posed on the invitation. Why does life slumber? <laughs> well, the answer to that is, pr I think, <laughs> clearly things are actually not going well here. <laughs> so it's not just as simple as, is this... Maybe if nothing was going wrong so far, and then you pose this question, do we change things? Here, it's, things are already going wrong. Well, <gasps> story time! Now it's my turn to share a story with you. There was a man from my homeland who, at a time when the world was grappling with deep, Unhealable pain made a choice. Is this actually from Hunkai Impact 3? Is this Hunkai Impact 3 song? Wow, Cash. Well, oh, the OST is literally titled For Kevin. They're actually playing the OST from Hunkai Impact 3. Welcome, Axelic and Boo Hazard. I see it's actually Kevin's theme in the back. He wove together the dreams of everyone in the world, linking people's dreamscapes, and shouldered this burden on himself from this. He created a giant, a spiritual Adam. Since that moment, the giant stood between heaven and earth, becoming the pillar of the world's existence. As a price, those who found it hard to move forward, who could not advance, forever lost their future. They lived in a world without sorrows and sadness. In a dream of a man who had lived in a dream, and who had lived in a dream, they slumbered in a dream devoid of disaster and pain, living their days peacefully in the man's created utopia. And it is because of the wishes of those people. The song is really the song is really good. <laughs> I feel like I'm getting goosebumps from this song. It's because of the wishes of those people who wished not to be who wish not to awaken that the spiritual Adam became unbreakable because people didn't want to wake up. Yeah, you stand here right now, which also means, which must mean, that man failed. Because people want to go to the future. But in the end, when they are not able to move, Oh, and then we can see because people must always move towards the future even if human weaknesses make them pause when they truly cannot move forward humanity will eventually seek a way to save itself and that man, he was never a failure. Like everyone in that world, he etched the possibilities of human nature into his heart. He was a man who was a sun chaser of legend. Soaring towards the sky and embracing his final victory 
with his fall. He 高高升起，只为来到太阳面前，那是没有任何人曾经到达的地方。他将因之融化，陨落大海。而在那之后 ，He ascended to heights uncharted, only to come face to face with the sun, a place not visited, not visited by anyone before. His wings would melt because of it, only for him to fall into the sea. And after that, 将有无数的人越过他的身躯，飞上更高的天际。Countless others would surpass him, soaring to even greater heights. 很符合无名客的开拓精神。A fitting metaphor for the nameless's trailblazing spirit. 谢谢。沃尔特先生，他问的 story。我知道你想确认什么。宇宙中有着无数相似却又相异的世界，在这些世界中，也有无数相似却又相异的人。This is almost commenting about the parallels. Thank you, Mr. Yang. I know what you wish to confirm. The universe has innumerable similar yet different worlds. Like Hongkai Impact Three and Hongkai Star Rail, <laughs> in these worlds, there are innumerable people who look alike, yet don't. 我也曾踏上旅途，在不同的世界邂逅容貌相似的故人，目睹他们的命运，行过似曾相识的轨迹。所以，我会告诉你。I too have embarked on journeys, encountering old friends with familiar faces. On different worlds, witnessing their destinies follow paths similar to mine. So, I will tell you. 尽管不完全相同，但你所描绘的这个故事，它和我的过往重叠在一起。而在那深不见底的梦中。Within that abysmal dream, 我结束了那个男人的生命。哦，独自一人。Within that, within that abysmal dream, I I ended that man's life alone. 我不是你认识的那个人，我的故乡也未能像你们的世界那样幸运。I'm not who you think I am, nor will my home be as fortunate as your world. 我很遗憾。Sorry. 没关系。如果这能消解你的疑虑，我不介意。I don't mind so long as I can alleviate your suspicion. 但我仍想知道，在那悬裂的表象下，黄泉小姐，究竟是哪一种力量，驱使着你独行至今 ？Something I still wish to know. Under that representation of the hunt. Exactly what sort of power is it that has motivated your solitary journey thus far? Walter 先生，在回答这个问题前，我想先继续刚才的话题。Before answering, I wish to continue the previous topic. 我很喜欢你的比喻。诚然，鸟儿生来就会飞翔，但在遥远的曾经。他们的祖先也只得从地面仰望高天。I like your analogy very much. Indeed, birds are born to fly, but in a distant past, their ancestors could only gaze at the sky and envy. 他们看见那遥远的、来自天外的光芒洞穿云翳，普照大地。于是，一次又一次，一代又一代，鸟儿们展翅高翔。试图触碰天顶，只因太阳就在那里。They saw that far away ray of light from above the heavens, piercing through the clouds and blanketing the earth. And so, time and time again, generation after generation, the birds spread their wings and took to the sky, attempting to touch its ceiling, all because the sun was there. 那么。如果当最后的鸟儿终于飞上天际
，却看见光芒的尽头并非太阳，而是漆黑的大日。Then, what if the last bird finally soars into the sky, only to realize that the end of the light is not the sun, but darkness, all consuming black hole. Just like the one in her eyes. 那我们究竟是为了什么，才要向光而行 ？Then why exactly do we even walk towards the light? Oh, and then we go back to black. So I wait. Our scene seems to have ended. Who is this? Long time no see, having fun on Panacone, Akron. This voice is not the voice of the Constance. It's not Constance. It's her friend. Could it be her companion? Although I don't know what the hell you are doing, what are you doing? Though I don't know exactly what you are or where you're up to. But my death is certain to find you soon. Oh. Is this brutal? My bullets will find you. Until then, you best find a casket store on Panacone and ask the owner to reserve a good quality casket for you, imposter. 冒牌货，原来如此。他把我的行踪带给了另一个在追踪黄泉的人。Imposter, I see. She gave my whereabouts to someone who is tracking Akron too. 你是谁 ？Who are you? 啊，我打错了。哈哈，抱了个背的，你又是谁 ？Did I make a mistake? Who the heck are you? 我是流光逸亭的译者。She actually answered, "I'm a garden of recollection memo keeper." Oh, 不错，我就喜欢这种硬茬。你是那个冒牌货的保镖，还是别的什么人？算了，无所谓。我也会留一发子弹给你的。洗干净脑门，等着吧。Not bad. This is the kind of tough challenge I like. Are you that imposter's bodyguard? Never mind, it's fine. I'll leave around for you, so get that forehead clean and wait for me. 我不知道你在说什么，但你认识黄泉，那个巡海游侠，对吗？我有事要问你。I don't know what you're talking about, but you know Akron, that galaxy ranger, yes? I have something to ask you. 嘿，要我帮你写遗嘱？可以。Are you asking me to write your will? Go ahead. 不是什么遗嘱，我只想问你，他究竟是如何变成巡海游侠的 ？Not quite. I just want to ask, how exactly did she become a galaxy ranger? 他根本不是巡猎的命途行者，你才是。Oh, this is brutal. She knew exactly after listening. <laughs> She's clearly not a pad strider of the hunt, but you are, aren't you? Tell me, what's Akron's deal? I'm surprised she doesn't know after being embroiled in Akron's memories for a while. Never thought I'd come across an ally. What a stroke of luck! I'm going to get to Pinocchio soon. I'm going to buy the Astana Bicycle Museum. Are we going to meet Bruto? I'll be on Pinocchio soon. Memo Keeper, go buy a bottle of Astana's White Oak and warm it up, and I'll raise a glass to you. That woman's past. 没人知道，但如果你要的只是个简单的答案，可以。你最好找张椅子垫在下面。那个叫黄泉的女人。The lady is past. Nobody knows. But if all you want is a simple answer, you best get a chair and take a seat. Now 
woman named Acheron. He actually knows. It's an emanator who should not exist. Wait, switching to adventure. <laughs> adventure. <laughs> oh, no, we're... And then we jump over to this other part. Well, we didn't end up here though. What happened to the room? What happened to the question that was being asked? What's going on over here? What's going on over here? You look pale, or is that also part of your. I didn't think you'd have the nerve to show yourself. I thought this was exactly what you wanted after all. I faithfully fulfilled my duties as you instructed. Tell me if you can't hold on any longer. 雍仲院的天才是打算替我收尸。天哪，真是荣幸。The <笑> genius of the Council of Idiots wants to be my undertaker now. What an honor. 战略投资部的各位，一定也非常希望能及时收到你的死讯。别忘了，你再也没法见到他们了。这个任务，现在可是落在我的头上。Pretty sure the people at the strategic investment department would love to be notified of their death in due time. But let's not forget you won't be seeing them because I'm the manager of this task. Tell your people that Venturine is ready to go then in 17 system hours. You've got a lot of nerves. How exactly do you plan on completing your task while your hands are tied by the harmony? We never got to hear his answer to Sunday. But he still sounds really confident here. I even managed to recover the gift money. Things haven't gone this smoothly since I walked through the doors of the reverie. Now, I'm only one step away from victory. Let's just wait and see. Sounds like a very elaborate way of saying that you feel you failed. Oh, he even calls him out. That's all I can say. Have you forgotten, Have you forgotten, Doctor? You've already betrayed me. Go and do what you must. I look forward to the sight of the IPC fleet surrounding Panacone. You've achieved what you desired, haven't you? That's true, but what's your plan? Did you conceal an orbital support beacon in that gift money bag? Who knows? Maybe that's why I'm handing out cash even when I'm about to bite the dust. You've truly gone insane. Cursed gambler. 
也许我早疯了，谁知道呢 ？I hear he calls him out for. It feels like he he's saying you've ascended to even more more of an insanity level. Maybe I was always. Maybe I've long gone insane, is what he says. Who knows? Ah, ah. Okay, give me this. Take it. Let's go to the end. Let's open it. You will thank me. Take this. Open it when you're on your last legs. You'll thank me. What's this thing? <laughs> What's this? Medical, medical advice. He's gone already. <laughs> you catch on pretty fast, doctor. <coughs> He's already feeling the effects. Yao wo tan an yu bu gei ban dian xian suo. Zhen you ni de. <laughs> Asking me to solve a case without giving a single clue. How typical of you, you wing-headed scoundrel. He does have wings on his head, chicken wings. But you made that fool of a fan do such a thing. That was a mistake. Next, let the company's wealth fall to the lot of each person's head to the ground. The way you're all on edge about that stowaway, it's just as I guessed it would be. As for now, let the rain of wealth from the IPC fall evenly on everyone. Monday night's insight? Was it actually a prescription and most exquisite scroll? Holding a doctor's prescription within Dr. Ratio advises you to only unveil it in the moment of life or death. You look distressed. Is something bothering you? If so, you can figure it out yourself. You get your hands on the gift money and your cornerstone. Wait. We have our cornerstone? What? Things get ugly, but your plan is still being executed at a timely pace. Not even the impending death can stop you. Distribute the gift money to the pedestrians to exchange for the intel you need. Through a sneaky magic trick, you get your hands on the gift money and your cornerstone. The adventuring quest log, <laughs> quest log spoilers. <laughs> I didn't realize the quest log spoilers. Is it actually? Well, I didn't. I didn't find out here. Actually, distribute gems. And ask around for clues regarding the stowaways. Oh, the filter disappears. Chow, when she takes out her sword, <laughs> Akron can slash away harmony when she slashes with her technique. Everyone else is stuck. <laughs> Her technique removes it. It's just completely gone. Wow, pretty. This fits Sparkle's mood. Cause Sparkle has the kaleidoscope when she does her ulti. So this filter kind of fits with her theme, actually. <laughs> Wanted to capture him spraying his perfume. This is a pretty nice shot of him, actually. Speaking of which, I can't believe. They posted the picture they did on Star Star Real Twitter. I saw people sharing the picture on on. Tw this was our official. <laughs> they officially tweeted this one. I saw everyone commenting on this one. This feels like a picture you would see in Tears of Themis, and then they can probably make it so it sounds like he's calling you in the game. Is this still a bit? This actually changed. Distribute the last of the gems. You're about to run out of money, and the ringing in your ears is getting louder. It does not bode well, and you need to hurry up. I think I remember was this. Was this. Oh, it is. Oh. 
还记得我说的吗？你们瓷缸里面就适合待在应景盖下边。Remember what I said? The Sagonians are better off hiding in the sewers. I recognize that voice right away. I even took her out just now for some pictures. <laughs> 瞧你这鬼鬼祟祟的样子，闻闻这里，嗅嗅那里。Look at you snooping around and sticking your nose everywhere. I like this shot. I want to take a picture. Screen screenshot. 死亡的血腥味儿，就那么勾人吗？小孔雀。I was thinking we haven't seen Sparkle in a long time. Is the smell of death so enticing, my fine fellow? I feel like in Chinese she calls him my 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 peacock. Is the smell of death so enticing, my little peacock? 小孔雀。是你呀！我早该猜到，知更鸟死后出现在电视上的替身就是你吧？假面愚者。Masked fool! I should have guessed it. You must have been the imposter who appeared on the TV after Robin's death, right? A 小孔雀 is little peacock. I feel like she did say that for him in the first and somewhere in 2.0. It's probably probably referencing his colors, his color scheme, kind of like a peacock feather colors. 听说你被家族下了降头。哎呦，明明给了你那么直接的提示，去找个哑巴做朋友，听听就这么简单一句话。I heard you got caught by the family. I gave you a clear clue too. Go find and befriend a mute. It was simple and straightforward, you know. 结果呢？你搞砸了不说，还把自己给赔进去了。让你和哑巴交朋友，没让你身先士卒成为哑巴。嗯，真是辜负了人家的一片好意呀。I really like the sparkle scene. What did you do? You messed it up and ended up as their prisoner. I told you to make friends with the mute, not become one yourself. You really let me down. You 什么意思？哈 ，Aventurine's not very pleased with Sparkle. The Sparkle has been making fun of him this whole time. What do you mean? You 比我更清楚呀。是谁眼巴巴的看着唱不出歌的小鸟横死在面前？当然是你啦，小孔雀。I hear she also says little peacock at the end instead of blondie. You know better than I do. Who watched the little songbird that couldn't sing perish right before their eyes? You did, my little peacock. That was what she said at the end. <laughs> 我是在问你，什么叫成为哑巴 ？I meant, what did you mean by becoming a mute myself? Becoming a mute yourself. <笑>明知故问，因为你也快要和他一样，永远说不出话了呗。You're asking what you already know. You already know the answer," said Sparkle. It means you'll soon end up like her, unable to speak ever again. <laughs> Is eventually thinking you're underestimating me? 不过嘛，这在我看来，倒不失为好事一桩。因为 ，But if you ask me, it might be a good thing because. 因为我快要触及真相了。Because I'm getting closer to the truth, right? Because I'm about to stumble on the truth, right? Huh? <laughs> Sparkle. 愚者，你以为我为什么要拎着这么个破袋子，满大街的分发廉价珠宝 ？Why do you think I'm handing out cheap trinkets all over the streets for? 这都是做给你看的。
等你好久了。<笑>看在我这么努力的份上，<笑>不奖励我一个回答吗 ？I was all part of the act to bait you out. The more pathetic I seem, the more likely you'll come sniffing around. So, now that I've drawn you out, will you reward me with an answer for my efforts? I have no reason to help you. Why should I help you? You are not hoping for Pinocchio to rule the world. I can do it. I just need to confirm one thing. At that time, you let me go to the Yaba. Do you want to see Pinocchio descend into chaos? Yes. Do you want to see Pinocchio descend into chaos? Yes. Do you want to see Pinocchio descend into chaos? Yes. Do you want to see Pinocchio descend into chaos? Yes. Do you want to see Pinocchio Back then, when you asked me to find a mute, 真的是只知更鸟吗 ？Did you really mean Robin? <sighs> oh, the bird is here. I see the bird that we saw in Sunday's room. I was always meant to be a mutant 2.0, but they might not have understood that it actually needed to be translated as a mute for it to make sense. So then they translated the meaning. They thought it probably meant she she was just making fun of him. So then they translated it as rock. And what if I say no? Thank you. 这个字头一回听着这么亲切。Thank you. The word no has never sounded so pleasing, so dear. 可以呀、啊，是我低估你了，但那又有什么用呢 ？She actually sounds impressed. 可以呀、啊、，Well done. I admit, I underestimated you. But what difference would it make? 告诉你吧，哑巴。符合这个定义的人，原先一共有两个，但知更鸟已经死了，而另一个，他还在匹诺康尼。喂，但你恐怕再也找不到喽。I guess it's he, the other. Let me tell you something. There were two mutes, but Robin is dead. Here in, in Chinese, she specifically says Robin is dead, not one is dead. Let me tell you something. There were two mutes, but Robin is dead, and the other. I can't tell in the Chinese. Should it have been a she? Or shows she in the Chinese text? Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. Well, it's supposed to be she, but it isn't. I see. So this is actually a pretty, a more egregious mistake. <laughs> 原来中文是她是女女性的她 I see. It's actually supposed to be a female refer or pronoun. She's still in Panacone. I see. Now there are two, so it seems like there are two differences. One is in Chinese, she specifically said Robin's name. She said there were two mutes, but Robin is dead. And the other, though she is in Panacone, I'm afraid you'll never find her again. Yu Zhe, now I can completely trust you. I walked the right path from the beginning. I have never wavered. Now I can be completely sure that I was always on the right track from the beginning and never strayed. Adventuring always new. 我手里只缺两样东西了。第一，真相背后的意义。第二，揭露它的方法。Right now, I'm only missing two more things. One, the meaning behind the truth, and two, the means to expose it. <laughs> 太好了，又到了我最爱的死鸭子嘴硬环节。你这不还是什么都不知道吗 ？How impressive! 
That's quite a fancy way of saying I haven't learned anything so far. <laughs> that is true. No, no. I've already proven that he is real. It's enough. As for these two questions, the answer is 17. No. 十六个系统时,足够我搞定一切 Not exactly What did he say anyway? 不不不我已经通过种种迹象证明了它确实存在 这就够了 Ah, because he's saying he did prove its existence I've gathered enough clues to already prove its existence That's enough for me As for the answers to my questions, I'll find them within 17 no, 16 system hours. Oh? 16个系统时啊? 真的足够吗? <laughs> 那让我再给你添把火吧! Oh? Oh, really? Only 16 system hours? And then in tiny she says, Are you sure you'll have enough time? Let me add a little touch of... flame for you. I guess it's sort of like, let me lend you a hand. <laughs> but she mocks him a little bit more. Are you sure you'll have enough time? Let me, let me give you some more sparks. Oh yeah, I think in Chinese she says more like, let me give you some more sparks. Which kind of means like, let me lend you a hand. But I like the way she said it. In Xi'an. Oh, she's giving... Here you go, this is my precious Mutually Assured Destruction Mad Button MAD I have one just like it I remember we picked up one of these very whiny button indeed When either of us presses it The other and the whole of Panacani will go up in smoke I remember we picked up one of these in one of the... in her sto story quest? I kind of remember this button again. That's where we first saw it, right? The troll button. <laughs> the mutually assured destruction button. Aha approves. Aha definitely approves. If it were you, you would have just pressed it. No second thought. <laughs> Imagine if he took it over and he was like, All right, let's just press it right now. If you're really so desperate for the IPC to take over Panacani, blowing up the chessboard isn't a bad idea. Start from scratch, after all. That's where the IPC excels, right? <laughs> 等你走投无路的时候,就按下它吧。当然,你也可以联系我。就当是我的临终关怀。so now Aventurine has the prescription from Ratio and the mutually assured destruction button from Sparkle. <laughs> Just press the button when you're at your wit's end and of course, feel free to reach out to me for my hospice care too. I wonder if you press it if it actually works. That's what I'm wondering too. <laughs> if he presses it right now, will be double? Will it be double? Because she's standing right next to him, right? When he presses it, both of them will go up. Poof. Such dangerous item, eh? I guess the family must not have taken your word seriously at all. Otherwise, how on earth did you manage to bring it in here? <laughs> all you need to know is I have my ways. <laughs> I hear they're using he again, but I'm guessing it must be she. I'm afraid I'll have to decline your offer. 
who knows if your little gadget would actually work. I can't hurt to try. No, I guess it blows himself up. By the way, I have no plans to search for the other mute friends you speak of. But it's good to hear that he's still here in Pentaconia. Apparently it's she, so good to hear that she's still here in Pentaconia. Oh,I'll take care of the rest myself. I'll orchestrate a grand finale for the downfall of the family. And at the climax, the walls will crumble, people will wake up, and those who couldn't speak will find their voices again. He's telling her to press the button. <laughs> when the time, when that time comes, Go ahead and press the button and light up the sky with a magnificent fireworks display for me. Catch you later, fool. <laughs> You're still talking big even in a moment like this. <laughs> but... If that does happen, I'll stay true to my word. <laughs> Just don't let me down now. Oh. More adventuring backstory? 回来了,35号,喜欢你的护身符吗? You're back, number 35, is that the number imprinted on his neck? Do you like your new lucky charm? This must have been right after he got his brand. In different male voice. 商品编码,也能当作护身符吗? Can a commodity code? Really be considered a lucky charm? Okay, Silence. I didn't give you permission to speak, you Sagonian hound. Ah, that guy wearing a black mask what happened from the previous adventuring backstory to this one? The guys in black didn't say much, so I have no idea what you did to save your skin in that massacre back in the day. They they were literally sold as slaves. He was literally bought as a slave. I figured you must have had good luck, so I bought you. From now on, you and your good luck are my assets. Are we clear? Your first task is simple. In addition to you, I've purchased 30... 34 other slaves. Go and play a game with them. Come out alive after two days and prove that you are the real deal. This is like one of those fighting to the death... death things. <laughs> You're insane. 
Just testing out my product. You Aren't you afraid the money you spent on me will go to waste? 老子有的是钱，小金毛，范欣欣努力市场，最不缺你这种自以为是的小屁孩儿。I've got stacks and stacks, Blondie. The slave market is never short of self-righteous brats like you. 但你有副不错的皮囊，所以不少客人都把身价压在你这瘦骨嶙峋的小鬼身上。but you look good, and that's why many customers are betting their fortunes on a scrawny bra like you. So go along now, and don't let your master down. <laughs> How much did you spend? What? Is he gonna end up buying, up, buying his... Freedom? My price. How much did you pay for me? Ah, You really want to know? I was sixty red copper coins, sixty tanba. No more, no less. Here he says, I want to make a bet with you. Thirty tamba. If I come back alive, you give me thirty tamba. Do you dare take up the bet with me? <laughs> You're trying to strike a bat with me? You've got some cuts? But sorry, don't forget your place, slave. You're not qualified to be at the table. You're just a chip. A life thrown away in someone else's hands. Either you come back with more chips for your master, or... You never come back. That's where he got his line from. It's all or nothing. Don't embarrass me, my lucky one. Wow, I see. We're getting the a full adventuring in backstory wait does the tattoo actually say slave i didn't notice the tattoo had words wait we're going back <laughs> we always end on the cliffhangers wait it actually says oh, i need to go <laughs> looks like how do i go back to the cutscene I need to take a look at this scene again. Cliffhanger rail. I can't believe it actually... I didn't notice that it actually says slave. I'll need to take a closer look. I thought it was just one of those... It was written in a different language in the game type of thing. Wow. What brings you here, Gallagher? Oh, right. The part... We left off here where we were about to talk to Gallagher. And then we were... And then we got interrupted with that black... Not black swan. With Akron and Walt. And then Black Swan, ring ring, and then now we're back into this one. <laughs> There's a lot of different lines. Adventuring is resilient, so preservation fits. I can definitely see that too. Oh, this is Xiao Wan. Shu Wen. 
some friends from the old days to have a moment to spare? Silbon. I've been crying for a day. Everyone, welcome to the Jingmeng Club. I have the whole day to spare. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Dream Jolt Ho Hostelry. Hostelry? Hostelry. 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 We're dedicated to serving up nothing but pure joy and laughter. Silbang, it's pronounced. Oh, it's pronounced something like sh sh. Oh, do not pronounce the v. Sh sh. And Chinese, it's pronounced shu shu wen shu wen. I thought I heard something like that, but I wasn't sure. Shu shu wen. So it is. It's like a w in Chinese. Shu shu wen. For names like these, you wonder if they choose a name in Chinese first. A lot of the character names in Star Rail are not based in Chinese. Like Kafka, someone was saying they found they found it funny how Kafka in Chinese is it's just Kafuka, <laughs> which is like the Kafka, but you read it in a Chinese Chinese tone kind of thing, <laughs> where the name is clearly not a Chinese character translated to the other languages. Want to drink something? What would you like to drink? I'll whip it up for you. Ah, she does. She does kind of give me some servo vibes. Look, sweetly, a lady as cool as servo. A little. She actually calls her a big sister, though. I guess it's more of like a lady terminology. I think she is servo. She's cool indeed. Shiluwa is who? Introduce me to the person I know. Shiluwa is who? Will you introduce me to her? A servo also gets translated sort of similarly in Chinese. Shiluwa and servo. Oops. Oops, she heard us. Don't call them. My good friend. I'm not offending you. Today I'll take a hit. Don't tease them too much, my dear bartender. I'll take over the bar today. Oh? You're big enough. 再不复见，怕是连当年吃饭的手艺都要忘了。I'm getting up there and eat. 小饮用的原材料呢？你放哪了 ？I need some practice before I forget the skills that put the food on my table in the beginning. Where did you stash the ingredients? 啊，就在柜台下面。几位客人远道而来，你不打算弄点特调饮品吗 ？They're all under the counter. Since our guests have traveled from afar, shouldn't you whip up some special drinks? 正有此意，朋友们，帮我做点事，在酒吧里四处转转，把喜欢的材料带回来吧。She's the NPC for our bartender event too, right? That's exactly what I had in mind. My friends, do me a favor, go around the bar and bring me any ingredients you fancy. 这案子估计得谈上很久，我来为各位准备些合适的饮品。Discussion. 量身定制。Might take quite some time, so I'll prepare some customized non-alcoholic drinks for you. Um, 酒吧里能用的材料不都在柜台上吗 ？But inside the bar, aren't all the ingredients right on the counter? 这里是梦境，可爱的小姐，只要你想，任何东西都可以下咽。安逸、饥饿、迷茫、厌倦，应有尽有，俯拾皆是。This is the dreamscape, my dear lady. You can help yourself to anything if you wish for it. Comfort, hunger, confusion, or even boredom. It's all within reach, right at your fingertip. Did you hear that? She called me my lovely lady. Even in reality, the drinks are not just drinks and food. The drinks are also used to enhance the mood of the bar and to emphasize the importance of the story and the story. 再加入一点小小的神秘和期待。Even in reality, mixing drinks is more than just throwing ingredients together. A bartender needs to capture the bar's atmosphere, master the technique, and spin a tale of mystery and anticipation. 才能和顾客一同调制出每个人人生的风味。
Only then can they create a perfect drink crafted with the customer's life story. 换句话说，喝到什么都看命，所以别想太多。犹豫不决是享受的大忌。In other words, what you get from your drink is down to luck. So don't overthink it. Indecisiveness has no place when it comes to enjoyment. You get to pick. Gallagher gestures for everyone to adjourn the discussion to somewhere else. He brings you to the dream jolt hostelry, a quiet and ordinary corner in this frolicking dream. Considering the complexity of the cases, he decides to showcase his skills. By preparing special drinks to keep everyone entertained, otherwise the negotiation process would be too boring. It will be dull if you have to spend the next twenty minutes listening to stories with no gameplay. <laughs> Wait, that felt like what some people were quote unquote complaining about the. I, I saw some complaints about the two point one story quest about how there was too much exposition. <laughs> Sounds exactly like this line. They actually wrote something in there. It will be dull if you have to spend the next twenty minutes listening to stories with the no gameplay. <laughs> you can explore the dream jolt hostelry for ingredients. Gallagher will then use magic to make perfect concoctions out of them. It's almost like here they're commenting on the. We know you guys don't want to keep listening to just exposition, so we're just gonna add in some things. <laughs> I do enjoy the. I I enjoy the exposition. I heard you're gonna make some drinks. Actually, the recipe is not as complicated as you think. Choose the best materials and throw them all in the jar for a while. It's just that simple. That being said, oh, we already read this. In the bar, we go around and around. Take the best materials and bring them back. I've gathered all the ingredients I need. Is it hard? Let's see. 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 找来了很有趣的东西啊！哦不，我们必须挑选。Found some interesting ingredients. Take your pick. 每种饮料的风味各不相同，基底的味道通常决定了第一印象和回味的余韵。你想选择哪种材料作为基底 ？Each drink has its own unique flavor, and the base ingredient sets the tone for the initial taste and the lingering aftertaste. Which one would you like to use as the base? The initial taste and the aftertaste. We can only pick from these three: Dream Syrup, Classic Soul Glad, Pico White Grape Soda. Does everyone get different glasses? Another viewer's drink. <laughs> actually, wait. <laughs> this actually looks like a cocktail, and then this looks like something else. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know you can make such troll drinks. Are you satisfied? 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 辛辣，酸涩，却又带一点甘甜。I wonder if this line changes too, with depending on which drink you pick. With what Himiko's comments are here, the richness and layers of these flavors are a masterpiece, especially with the adjuncts. I can taste the spicy and sour notes with a hint of sweetness. 我不知道这意味着什么。Story time. Not entirely sure what it means. Maybe Gallagher can shed some light. Maybe Mr. Gallagher can shed some light. 很可惜，如果你在期待一个深刻的回答，恐怕要失望了。No, we're just expecting some stories. We're expecting a profound answer. I'm afraid I'll disappoint you. 它所蕴含的意象非常简单，这不过是美梦乐园真正的滋味，仅此而已。The imagery it implies is pretty straightforward. It's just a glimpse of what this dream truly tastes like. Nothing more. Spicy and sour with a hint of sweet. 
Does this true taste have anything to do with Mikhail? I remember Mikhail. Is. I just heard it. Hey, you were in the Jia Mian Yuzhe Girl Named Mingyun. I heard someone say your name, right? My name does sound familiar. When you got knocked out by that masked fool girl, I think I heard someone calling that name. Do you remember? <laughs> and when we first entered the dreamscape, too. Huh. I know a lot. I didn't see you at all. I don't have any reason to be angry with you. Looks like I was right about you guys. You do seem to know quite a bit. Seems there's no reason to hide anything from you anymore. Then let's open up the case. Story time. Let's dig deeper into the case, and of course, it'll involve a story about Mikhail. First, let's say the conclusion. According to the police report, this Liu Ying is not a local person, and not a member of the Jia Mian Guard. In other words, he is a thief of the Jia. Let's start with what we know based on the clues the family has. It seems Firefly isn't a local or an invited guest. In other words, she's a stowaway. Also, he didn't know in the beginning. Also,他也被这姑娘骗了。当真是年纪大了。不过在社会之星，偷渡不是多么稀罕的事，也不难查。事发后，猎犬们立即采取了行动。从梦境和现实两头开始追踪。she managed to fool me at first. My age must be getting the best of me. But here, on the planet of festivities, stowaways are a common sight. You're bound to run into one sooner or later. After the incident, the hounds wasted no time searching for that girl in both the dreamscape and reality. Oh. But here's the thing. We only received bad news and the tr trickiest kind, the most annoying kind. This girl has been exploded. She has not left any trace of her dream. In reality, she has not found her body. She has never come to Pinocchio. She, she simply vanished, leaving no trace in the dreams, dreamscape or reality. As if she had never come to Panacone at all. Huh? Does that mean... Death eradicated her. Maybe things will turn out different than what we think. Is she a ghost? Maybe things will turn out different than what we think. She must not actually be dead. Are are you suggesting that girl wasn't actually killed? Aren't you a witness in this case? Did she just turn into some bubbles? Let me be frank. I don't think you are. This case actually is unlike anything the Bloodhound family has dealt with before. So in Pinocchio, the death of Pinocchio has been killed, right? Dealt with before. Does that imply death has happened in Panacone? You've witnessed it, so there's no need to hide. Even the shiniest city has its dark side. We're all adults here. Surely I don't need to explain too much to you. If you just look at this point, it's too bad for the family. Confronting the family based on that alone would be naive. Death may occur in sweet dreams, but so what? Such events are highly unlikely and only affect a tiny number of people. But the consequence is really drastic. If you really want to dig into this case, you have to first understand the real problem of the family. You want to delve deeper into this case, you need to understand the true problem of the family. Now it's story time. So we're getting some backstory about no traces being found of Firefly. Is it finally time for the story of Mikhail? 
，星穹列车也收到了那只八音盒，对不？知道里面藏着什么秘密吗 ？You're very perceptive. The Astro Express has also received the music box, right? Do you know the secret it holds? 一句流言，将梦中的不可能之事尽收眼底。The things we were asked. 寻得匹诺康尼之父钟表匠的遗产，而后解答：生命因何而沉睡？ There is a message. Witness the impossible in the realm of dreams. That sounds like the witnessing the death, and then find the legacy. We haven't found the legacy yet. Find the legacy of the watchmaker, father of Panacone, and thus the answer to the question, why does life slumber? That's the question Alcron and Walt were discussing yesterday. Hmm. Yes, but. That's the exact wording. Huh? You laugh? What? Is it you wrote it? The script is good. Did he? Why are you laughing? Wait, that's true. How does he know the wording? Unless he also got a music box or he wrote. Wait, did you write it? It's quite poetic. I'm the one who handles the crime scene. How can I not know? I guess you all have noticed that this sentence is not from the Clan of the Jade. Even the relationship between the two is not so good. This is the truth. No, but I'm the officer in charge of the case, so how could I not know? I'm sure you must have noticed the message did not come from the family. You might have even guessed the relationship between the family and the watchmaker isn't as close as it seems. It feels like they're even on opposite sides. The watchmaker feels like it's trying to maybe expose, expose what the family is doing. Now, it's just a guess. We can't believe that the father of Pino Kang is so unbalanced and his subordinates. It's just our speculation. It's hard to actually believe the father of Panacone and its actual managers are at odds. The watchmaker and the family. It's often very true, though. It's kind of like when you're in the company, the CEO and your board never really agrees, or your founder of the company doesn't really always usually agree with your board of directors. <laughs> usually, they're at odds with each other, but you can't do much about the other. Welcome, Ama, to this stream. Now I can tell you, I can assure you that your speculation is absolutely correct. 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 Your speculation is the family has considered the watchmaker as an enemy for a long time. The hounds haven't been able to track him down, as he seems to be living only in the characters and stories he created. So, I further ask you to ask the audience, have you ever thought why the family can allow the Zhong Biao Jiang to send such a lie to the outside? Let me ask you a question. 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 Have you ever wondered why the family allowed the watchmaker to send out such a ridiculous message to the outside world, inviting you here and causing chaos? Because this way, maybe the family will finally be able to track down the watchmaker. They are using everyone to try to find the watchmaker so they can take him out. You want to seize this opportunity to let the Zhong Biao Jiang out of the bag? You want to seize? This opportunity to expose the watchmaker. I don't know if she says you. They want to seize. I don't think Gallagher is on the same side as the family. Now you can understand why the watchmaker is allowing the Zhong Biao Jiang to help the Oak family to investigate, and why he is so excited to help you. Now you understand why the Oak family authorized the Nameless to assist in the investigation. I kept you in the dark, right? Everyone's using the um, inviters, invitees. Corpa talk, you can relate to that. I ah, yes, usually shareholders and CEO sentiments do not align. Why would the watchmaker and the family be at odds? Because they have different different goals, I'm guessing. When we first meet Gallagher, he says, that's nonsense, take another look. The witness report says the suspect is a lad. 
Uh, he did seem to have spoken up very positively about Firefly when we first met Gallagher. Welcome back, Jeff Fries and Mimi Wo. Because the watchmaker is not the legend of the land of the dreams at all, he is the most shameful stain in the history of Panacani, and he is the root of real cause of all the anomalies in the dreamscape. But what does this have to do with Mikhail? Is Mikhail the watchmaker? <laughs> you don't get it? Well, I mean... Ah, that is what he's implying. And did Mikhail create Misha? Mikhail, the betrayer of the family. He's the one. Oops. Mikhail, the betrayer of the family. I wonder how he betrayed the family. Wait. Kulok Oh, We're still with Gallagher. Maybe he's gonna show us instead of. T I thought we we're gonna skip to another POV. <laughs> Here we are, Clock Studio Theme Park, the most popular entertainment center in Pentecone. Are we supposed to be discussing the watchmaker? I would have expected you to take to us, take us to maybe a library or an archive room of sorts, but an amusement park. The culture of a city reflects its history in the most authentic way. To you, it's a fun place, but to me, it's a prison for the planet's past. You know that Panacone used to be the IPC's prison planet, right? All the prisoners were brought here, helping the Garden of Recollection salvage the leaking memoria from the macro void. The prolonged exposure to high concentrations of memoria caused a unique phenomenon. The dreams of countless prisoners intersected and overlapped, and people started meeting each other in their dreams, living lives that were almost identical to reality. But everything has a price, and sweet dreams are no exception. In the end, the dream world was unable to alleviate the suffering of prisoners in reality. One of the prisoners broke free from the IPC shackles and fought for freedom. So the character Hanu was based on the real life person. The clocky cartoon is actually a documentary. He is Hanu, the great leader of Dreamville, the great peacemaker, and the faithful companion of the underdogs. History is always written by the winner, is true. However, it's undeniable that Clocky is an animation that draws from Panacone's actual history. So it's not just a Clocky cartoon, it's actually based on what actually happened. 
。明白了这点，也就明白了我们为什么要来这里。These characters not only exist in Dreamville, but also in the distant past. Once you realize this, you'll understand why we're here. Rob of the hard stuff. How many people have been sent to Jaxi? Just received a lockdown order. What do you want to do? To lock down, prevent adventuring. I take a peek. To better get his story across, Gallagher decides to make things fun by taking everyone to Clock Studios theme park. <laughs> Using the facilities there as tools, he will give you all a lesson on the history of Penacani. <laughs> everyone understands that you're exhausted, but they hope you won't doze off. I love these fourth wall <laughs> commentary. <laughs> I even says to better get his story across. At the beginning, when March was like, "Why aren't we going to a library or something to learn about the history?" and I was thinking, "Surely, people will be complaining even more if we go to a library. Have to make things fun. You never read the character. <laughs> the quest descriptions are pretty fun, though. Apparently, yesterday one of them might have contained a spoiler. Usually, they don't, though." Huh, 阵仗够大，追捕嫌犯时都没见有这么卖力。What a scene! There's so many of them. I've never seen anything like this, even when they're tracking down suspects. Can you convince them to let us in? It's pretty impressive, even from out here. 毕竟是家族的手笔，除了信仰存户的那帮人，就属他们最擅长建造奇观。The masterpiece from the family, after all. Besides the followers of the preservation, the family members are the best at creating mind-blowing marvels. 找个安静的角落继续吧。Let's find a quiet spot and continue our conversation. 就这里吧，视野不错，正好可以望见他。The view here is great. How about here? We can also see everything from here. The music changed. 钟表小子。Clocky. 如果这些动画角色在现实中都有迹可循。那钟表小子对应的，毫无疑问就是钟表匠了。If the characters in the animations, if all the characters are based on characters in reality, then Clocky's counterpart is definitely the watchmaker. The Clocky is quite a powerful one, especially with the Clocky powers. Welcome, Jester Ghost. Funny how pulling Akron means less gameplay. Less gameplay, but also more gameplay. I guess a different kind of gameplay. Less auto combat gameplay, more slash 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 gameplay. <laughs> He just synthesized 150 trick snacks. Now the music changed to the spooky music. He is Hanu brothers' friend. He is one of the original Mei Meng Clan members. Can you understand how the watchmaker also participated in that battle in history? In the history of 并且站在阿斯德纳这边。In the animation, he's Hanu's partner and one of the founders of Dreamville. Does that mean the watchmaker was personally involved in the war and sided with Astano? 那是场声势浩大的独立战争。假面愚者，无名客，虚构史学家，背道凌人，恶兆先锋。哈努努在一众同伴和天外来客的帮助下平定了战乱。It was a monumental war for freedom. Hanunu fought alongside a motley crew of masked fools, nameless history fictionists, fictionologists, morning actors, omen vanguards, even visitors from beyond the sky. Visitors from beyond the sky. That sounds like our travelers in Genshin. In the end, they emerged victorious. Maybe our uh, our twins from Genshin came over. Visitors from beyond the sky came over from other worlds. Also joined in. 自然，那其中也有日后的钟表匠。Among them was the person who would eventually be known as the Watchmaker. Sounds like Transformers. They did. 
可这么一算，钟表匠岂不是活了好几百年 ？But if we do the math, doesn't that mean the watchmaker was around for several centuries? Maybe he was just living. He transformed into living in the dream world. 不知道。我认识米哈伊尔时，他就已经是钟表匠了。也可能是继承的名号吧。I'm not sure, but Mihaiyar was already the watchmaker when I met him, so maybe he inherited the title. 嗯，山关先生，你多大了 ？How old are you now, Mr. Officer? Oh, is he gonna say a really old? Thirteen. 十三岁。Wait, thirteen. Thirteen? 怎么看都不可能吧。A really young age? Thirteen? What? <laughs> no way! Not even close! I'm thir- thirteen? 十三岁。哈努努解放了边陲监狱。啊？但没来得及看见和平就走了。贫瘠的资源，虎视眈眈的外部，疑心离德的各大监区。Maybe time works differently. 阿斯德纳的未来依旧岌岌可危。Hanunu freed the frontier prison, but peace still eluded him. With limited resources, threats from the outside world, and internal conflicts between major prison districts, the future of Astana was uncertain. 直到历史上的钟表匠向家族抛出橄榄枝，试图将这座监狱打造成觥筹交错的盛会之星，匹诺康尼才终于获得他如今的名字。走上面向群星的舞台。It wasn't until the watchmaker approached the family with the idea of turning the prison into the planet of festivities that Panacani finally gained its name and glory. 所以他才被称作匹诺康尼之父。That's why he is referred to as the father of Panacani. 可是，你前面明明说钟表匠是家族的背叛者，你还说自己是他的同伴。所以你也。But didn't you say the watchmaker betrayed the family, and you said you were his companion? So that means you. 我不是他的同伴，是他众多孩子的一员。I'm not his companion, but one of his many children. 但我确实是叛徒，不是背叛家族，而是背叛了米哈伊尔。But I am indeed a traitor, not to the family, but to Mikhail. The, the watchmaker betrayed the family, and Gallagher is saying he betrayed the watchmaker. The widow to Mihaiyar. Oh, you 做了什么 ？What did you do? 我什么都没做。这就是最大的背叛。I did nothing. And that's the worst betrayal of all. 就像你们一样，我也曾拥有亲密无间的伙伴。我们为匹诺康尼呕心沥血，可项目加戏，却陷我们于不义。Just like you, I had close companions. We dedicated ourselves to Panacone, but the Oak family, they set us up. 米哈伊尔老了，不能再保护他的孩子。我们离开家族，自寻出路，就成了同邪的叛徒。尽管真正的背叛者另有其人。Mihaiyar was too old to protect his children anymore, so we left the family to find our own path. We were branded traitors of the Harmony, even though the true traitors were someone else. But isn't he a bloodhound currently? 他们对外依旧称赞钟表匠的美名，暗地里却悄悄地将他钉上耻辱柱。I see, unless he's saying that's what's happening behind the closed doors. While they continue to praise the watchmaker's name to the world, behind closed doors they condemn him on a pillar of shame. 即便如此，我们还是希望为他证明，只要能把真正的叛徒。这一切的幕后主使揪出，匹诺康尼的童鞋便能重回正轨。Nevertheless, we wanted to clear his name. We intended to find the real traitor, the one responsible for all this, and restore harmony 
。但我们输了。漫长的时间过去，梦想之地受到的影响已经太深，在没有尽头的穷追猛打下，我放弃了。就像一条丧家犬。But we failed. Too much time had passed, and the land of dreams had become too deeply corrupted. After countless fruitless pursuits, I gave up, like a lost dog. 家族重新接纳了我，给了我治安官的工作。And then he became a good friend. Outwardly, it was punishment. From then on, I and my friends completely lost contact with my past. And Mihaeer. The family accepted me and made me an officer, supposedly as a form of forgiveness, but it was actually a punishment. Since then, I've been completely cut off from my partners and my past. As for me, Hai, I. 我听说他死在了无人在意的角落里，一个没有人能发现的地方。我明白，从这一刻起，曾经的皮诺康尼再也回不来了。I heard he died in obscurity in a place where no one could find him. We both have a sense of loss. 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 Apparently, someone inherited the title of the watchmaker and has been secretly working against the family all this time. Our little clocky friend, Nisha. Who could that person be? 可惜啊，这么多年过去，我还是不知道那人是谁，甚至不知道那到底是个人，还是米哈伊尔的幽灵在梦中游荡。Unfortunately, after all these years, I still have no idea who that person is, or if they're even real, or just Mihaeer's lost soul haunting the dream. So, you understand? Why do I have to tell you so much? Because that girl's death is connected to the Grand Duchess' secret. And in the endless and mysterious depths of the Grand Duchess, there is a secret that no one can find. Do you understand why I'm telling you all this? I believe the girl's death must be connected to the watchmaker's legacy. We still he he didn't tell us what the watchmaker's legacy means. Everything here seems to be connected to the watchmaker's legacy. And at the end of all these mysteries, you and I can get the answer we want. We will find. We will all find the answers we're seeking. Watchmaker's legacy sounds like a magical wish potion. Anyone who finds it will be able to make a wish and just turn whatever their wishes, make their wish come true. If that really is Mihaeer's spirit in the dream, I'd like to meet him. People who don't like me can turn the hotel around, but those who are willing to turn around, well, one person is enough to kill one person. If it really is Mihaeer's ghost, I want to meet him. If only for the last time, those who despise me could form a line from here all the way to the entrance of the hotel. But those willing to look me in the eye and hear me out, let's just say there won't be many. I know all of you. All of you are willing to look me in the eye and hear me out. He definitely hasn't told us everything. I've told you all I know as a sign of gratitude. Thank you for listening to this old dog bark and all. Hmm. 影城那边好像有点事。哦。哈，先失陪了。祝你们好运。Something just happened at the theme park. Now, if you'll excuse me, good luck to all of you. 真讽刺啊！如今被匹诺康尼拒之门外的这些偷渡客。和几个琥珀纪前被奉为拓荒者的逐梦客，又有什么差别呢 ？How ironic! What's so different between the stowaways rejected by Pentacony today and the dream seekers once hailed as pioneers several amber eras ago? 加拉赫先生，果然是很有故事的人呢。Gallagher does have. A troubled past, it seems, does have quite a story. Although Liu Ying Xiao's story remains a mystery, 
但他的分享解释了不少疑点：钟表匠的真实身份，与家族的关系，以及隐藏在美梦和死亡背后的势力斗争。While Firefly's whereabouts remain a mystery, the story shed light on our suspicions about the true identity of the watchmaker, his connection to the family, and the power struggles hidden behind sweet dreams and death. And that the family isn't all united. 没错，加拉赫先生提到真正的背叛者另有其人，并且很可能潜伏在项目家系中。Gallagher suggests the real traitor is someone else, probably within the Oak family, and that death is related to the Watchmaker. 这也和之前的信息对得上。刘英小姐正是为了那份遗产，才会被卷入这场惨剧。我们也更能确信，沙金对皇权的指控并无根据。That lines up with what we've we've gathered so far. Firefly got involved in this mess because of the legacy, and now we're sure that Aventurine's accusations against Acheron are baseless. We pretty much knew from the beginning. We never doubted Acheron. 你就这么喜欢钟表小子吗？那只是个动画形象啦，又不是本人。Really into Clocky, huh? He's just a fictional character, not a real person. Nobody else can see him. 这么说来，那位只有你才能看见的钟表小子也令人在意。可惜那之后就没再遇见他了。Why is it that only the Trailblazer can see him? The Trailblazer has this dagger on. Speaking of which, that Clocky who only reveals himself to Sweetly is quite intriguing. It's a shame we've never met him since then. Pretty much sums it up. 此行验证了不少先前的猜想，值得我们再仔细消化下。给瓦尔特发条消息。How's Marvel to Nakron's journey is going? Now that we've confirmed a lot of our suspicions, let's take a moment to think about the clues we have. Send a message to Welt and see how things are going on his end. The Astral Express family. Mr. Yang, our investigations have come to an end. How's progress on your end? <laughs> Not too bad. The Galaxy Ranger and I agree the family must be hiding something extremely important. We're now headed to July Pavilion. Acheron, huh? Didn't I eventually say she was dangerous? Wait, <laughs> didn't we just conclude? March, were you not in the conversation? Didn't Mommy Himiko just say? Aventurine's accusations against Acheron were baseless. <laughs> what do you mean? Aventurine said she was dangerous. March hasn't caught up. <laughs> March was tuning out of the conversation we just had with Himiko. I've confirmed she's on our side. Don't worry. Please wait for a while. I'll keep you posted as soon as I find anything. Oh, switching to Acheron. 同伴在担心你吗？ We seem to have relocated from where we last left off. We last left off while Akron was giving us that cool analogy, uh, that dark analogy about the bird flying towards the light, only to discover there was darkness. Why does the bird fly? Are your companions worried about you? This is normal contact. 他们那边似乎有些发现，我们快去快回吧。They're just checking up on me. Let's get in and get out. They're on a mission. I'm seventy percent of the way done. Wait, I'm only seventy percent of the way done. <laughs> It seems they've made some progress. 嗯，再向前走，就要进入朝露公馆深处了。Looks like we're about to enter the depths of July Pavilion. 一路上都很顺利。顺利过头了，很难想象这是防守严密的家族驻地。It's been a smooth ride, almost too smooth. It's hard to imagine this is a heavily guarded mansion of the family. Sunday must be waiting for them. 先找找有没有可以通报的人吧。Let's see if there's anyone waiting to greet us. 
deeper into Dewlight Pavilion. Acheron beyond good and evil, the telltale heart. Meanwhile, Acheron, that is to say you and Walt, have infiltrated the Dewlight Pavilion to bring to light the truth hidden by the family. To your surprise, the place is empty when it is supposed to be heavily guarded. Only some wandering monsters can be seen patrolling the place. What's going on? It's a trap! Something feels off. A grand mansion like this and not a butler or servant in sight? Could it be due to the disruption caused by the emergency? This door is open. Looks like we'll have to investigate ourselves. Let's proceed with caution. One moment. Akron draws her blade. She needs to connect to her disc again. <laughs> oh, I made myself less noticeable. This is like this is like a free run where you make your aura less noticeable. <laughs> Can't go around showing everyone the true extent of your power. Have to hide your presence, conceal your mana. <laughs> this reminded me of free con mana concealing. And let me conceal my mana a bit more. <laughs> Can't let people know that I am here. I see. What an interesting technique. Oh. oh. And this teaches you, because this gives you Acheron even if you don't have Acheron. That沙盘里的模型应该是黄金的时刻。也许家主们就是用这座模型来商议钥匙的。Maybe the heads of the family use the model for discussing important matters. That's pretty cool to go here. Because we first came here with Ratio and Adventuring, and now we get to go through the same place with Akron and Walt. For a slightly different experience. Slightly different perspective. Where their footprints. A ratio and aventuring. There's two pairs of footprints. Wow. I can actually tell this is this is ratio's shoes, I think, and these are aventuring's shoes. Wow, we can't even investigate these. Oh, they even ask. Let's see if we can let's see if we got it correct. Can you identify the people who left these footprints? <laughs> There is a unique pattern here, flamboyant even. Judging by the size, I'd say these were men's shoes. If I'm right, that should be the IPC ambassador adventuring. What about the other one? Looks like they were walking side by side as opposed to one behind the other. So the other individual is likely equal in status to adventuring. The IPC is eager to reclaim Panacone, so their presence here is not unexpected. <laughs> Our Chinese viewer said I missed this because I just used Akron's technique and then I slashed through this whole part so I didn't see anything on the ground or didn't see anything shiny. <laughs> Cause it was just slash 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 and then you slashed all the way to the end and then you didn't see anything along the way. You did the same too. <laughs> Relatable. <laughs> slash slash to <two> strong thing. <laughs> That seems like it's a very relatable experience. I was thinking the, the, the slash slash would be too loud if I kept slashing on stream, so I, I was just gonna walk through and only slash the enemies. Wow, 
while there aren't any people in this mansion, they've set up quite a few mimetic guards to patrol this place. Oh. Oh. It seems to have dropped something. Firefly hasn't. Well, I haven't finished the quest yet. I'll comment on Firefly after. <laughs> Look, it dropped something. This is a note. Seems to be a note that was left by some other servant. Looks like an instruction from the butler to the other servants. Apparently, the work of the police is divided into other tasks, and this is the beginning of the work of the police before the Dragon Knight's death. Seems the mansion's entire workforce were assigned other tasks. Before Robin's death. Maybe it's needed a lot of human labor. Huh? For example, the Seer Temple. Must have been a big project to require that much manpower. The Charmony Festival, perhaps. Dunley, to say, no matter what big task, the family should always leave people in the background. But no matter what their main priorities are, there should always be someone left at the mansion, right? You're saying. 是有人故意支开了他们。They're saying someone deliberately cleared the place out. 嗯，但不知道是为了什么。嗯哼 ，But I'm not sure why. 嗯，这里依然没有。There's no one here either. Everything, everywhere is empty. No one here either. 既然没人招待，我们就自便吧。请尽量靠近我些。Since no one's around to entertain us, let's make ourselves at home. Stay close to me, so my light can cover you too. Or we're both mana concealing. Look for clues. You two manage to sneak into the family's council chamber almost unhindered, because we had to fight one mimetic enemy. It looks like a place laden with confidential documents, so you two can surely find something here. The ceiling place looks really grand too. Almost feels like there's an upstairs. A letter from Robin? Dear brother, how are you doing these days? I had intended to visit you at Dulai Pavilion as soon as possible upon my return, but with the approaching Charmony Festival and your busy schedule, I refrain from troubling you. However, an urgent matter compels me to share something with you immediately. Since my return to Penaconi, I have experienced a peculiar change in my voice. At first, I thought it was caused by exhaustion or illness. But after consulting with doctors, they assured me of my perfect health and dismissed my concerns. However, my voice worsened over time, and I even experienced periods of complete voice loss. In order to find answers, I conducted many private investigations, using my idle time out of rehearsals, of course. Eventually, I realized that the harmony of Penaconi is not pure. A discord lurking within has tainted my voice of harmony, which I believe to be the root cause of my vocal issues. I immediately realized that such levels of interference can only occur if either a powerful external force is pulling the strings, or if a senior member of the family is involved. Referencing a bit a mole within the family. This is an extremely alarming discovery. A traitor has emerged within the family of Penaconi, and it is highly likely that this person is one of the four family heads. I trust you implicitly, dear brother, because of our promise. Within the Charmony Festival on the horizon, I fear this person intends to impede its progress or even. Use the festival for some ulterior motive. What if it is the brother? At any rate, I suggest you monitor the other family heads while also prioritizing your own safety. I don't even remember who the other family heads are. You're the only true family member I have left. There is another matter that requires our attention. 
During my investigation, I learned about the memory zone meme of death. And my further inquiries led me to believe that the culprit who directed it to cause this series of incidents is likely the aforementioned traitor in the family. I have collected more clues and I'm prepared to verify my hypothesis. Rest assured you can just focus on the preparations for the Charmony Festival. Once I've thoroughly investigated that, I'll come and meet you immediately. It won't take too long, is that why she... Because she was trying to investigate death and then death found her first? Given your heavy workload, please take care of yourself. Don't stay in the dreamscape all the time. Spend some time in reality when you're free. I've brought some more specialties from other galaxies. Giant moa pudding tarts from Aurelin's wild strawberries. From Akan Yako, known for their exceptional size and sweetness, which I'm certain you'll enjoy. An almond meringue cream cracknels from Odysseus. Don't forget to enjoy them. May she pay be with us. Your sister Robin. Wow, this letter is quite a letter. <laughs> so Robin knew what was happening with her. She knew something was off and then she knew there was a mole in the family. She wrote to her brother. But she didn't want to disturb her brother. And then she was going to go and confront death herself. What was Sunday doing this whole time? So the Robin that we met was Robin. As soon as I and the rest of the crew arrived in Penaconi, Mr. Sunday and Robin showed up to greet us. I remember hearing something unusual in her voice, and it seems I was right. Robin believed it was because the harmony had been tempered with somehow, but as far as I know, there aren't many entities capable of interfering with the power of Pats. You're implying... If there really is a traitor within the family, that person must hold a high position or possess unimaginable strength. That would explain why Mr. Sunday has been having such difficulty in catching the traitor. What if Mr. Sunday is the tra traitor? So it seems like it's implied that the Robin we meet in the beginning is actually Robin. It wasn't Sparkle in the beginning, at least. <laughs> Maybe it was only Sparkle in that one scene we saw. Two more articles. It's Sunday and Robin! This light cone is securely guarded. It must hold some important memories. I like how it looks like Robin was standing up on the table and she was hosting her show. And then Sunday was being a loyal listener and clapping for his sister. It looks like Robin was pretending to be on stage and Sunday was listening. They must have been pretty close then, at least when they were little. Shigengnya的采访中曾提及,即便他登上过如此多华丽的舞台, <laughs> Oh, she mentioned According to Robin's interview, despite having performed on so many grand stages, her favorite performance was a pretend show she put on with her brother when they were just kids. There is an interesting, cre slightly creepy looking bunny plush in the back. Uh, Robin did feel like she was really thoughtful, considerate of Sunday, because she even wrote. I didn't want to bother you. I know you don't have a lot of time. Robin sounds like she didn't want to bother Sunday with the affairs. She thought she could take care of everything herself. Hopefully this isn't one of those. <laughs> Back then they were close. 
And then something happened. I wonder how their relationship is now. A lot of times things do change when you grow up. 成长的过程中总会获得许多，但也会失去许多。Growing up brings gains, but also losses. 是啊，时光会抚平一切，年少的美梦也终会醒来。Time has a way of smoothing things out. The beautiful dream of youth will eventually fade away. List of death victims. Anne Sorrow, a male Halovian, was dragged into the sea by an unknown man while sunbathing on the beach in the moment of oasis. Subsequent search and rescue operations proved unsuccessful. Note: This is the first case. Can't tell if anything is wrong. Insufficient investigation. Mori, a male from Shenzhou, entered a spheroid in Golden Hour and mysteriously disappeared while the spheroid was bouncing in air. Later examination showed no signs of forced entry or exit on the spheroid. Note: It seems the culprit can ignore physical barriers. Conventional investigation methods feasible? Emaka, a female human. Participated in a talent show in the moment of scorch sand, but accidentally fell off the stage before the judges turned around and disappeared in the shadows below. The footage for that episode of the show has been deleted. Note: the culprit is swift and skilled at disguises. Caution is as is advised. Weber Weber. A male Papeshi fell down when entering his office on payday in Gilded Hour, and was killed by an unknown meme that suddenly appeared. The memories of witnesses have been proce processed. Well, I guess they just looked through them. Note: preferring to attack wounded or vulnerable individuals. Uncertain, may be taking orders from someone else. Chemet, a male Papeshi. Was taken away while flipping over a card at a casino in the moment of stars. The casino staff has dealt with the aftermath of the incident. <laughs> the notes, what I'm thinking. What does flipping over a card mean? The guy was just looking at his cards and then he doesn't, and then he got chopped. No, flipping a card. Interesting. <laughs> Dakem, a female, a male human, jumped into the ocean of dream bubbles in Blue Hour. In an attempt to impress his girlfriend, but got entangled by an unknown meme under the sea and drowned. Yikes! His girlfriend's memories have been processed, but the outcomes are not satisfactory. Further in intervention from motivators may be necessary. Wait, processed might mean does this memories being processed? I think it means they got altered. His memories have been processed. I thought they meant they read the memories, but it feels like the, it's implied that their their memories are just changed. Further intervention from motivators may be necessary, because the girlfriend's probably really traumatized, and they're they're going through and just deleting. It feels like the brainwashing. At first, I thought processing meant they were looking through the memories to see what happened, but here it feels like you were getting brain. Almost like memory wiped. Additional note: Scratch that. After checking, oh, cause no, most cases are related to the ocean. Could this be a breakthrough? Scratch that. After checking, only two cases were related to the ocean. Cai Xia, a female foxian, was engulfed by an unknown meme while playing dreamy slots in the golden hour. The incident. Why does this name ring a bell? The incident caused a huge commotion at the spot. The memories of most witnesses have been processed. No, could it be the sweet dreams troop? Does it have the ability to imitate and learn? Multiple culprits. There is likely a mastermind behind the scenes. Cam Bega, a male bloodhound. 
was attacked by an unknown man before his shift change in a moment of serenity, resulting in a death after a fight. Security measures have been enhanced in the prison area. Note, no notable details in this case. Need to ask the Bloodhound family to strengthen defenses in the prison and other facilities. Janet, a female human, disappeared while visiting the film history gallery at the museum in the moment of soul. She was drawn towards a mysterious sound calling to her and walked into a screen vanishing without a trace. The site has been cordoned off. Note, this is the only case where the culprit demonstrated speech ability. Further verification is required to determine if this is a false claim. Cause she supposedly heard something. Monk, a male in Teletron, was attacked while replacing his newly purchased high-grade vision sensor in the auction at the moment of dusk. Note, vision sensor. Noteworthy. Aneta, a female Papeshi, vanished while touching up her makeup in the bathroom before the graduation ceremony at Paperfold, Paperfold Academy in the moment of Seoul. She was caught by a meme in a mirror and disappeared. Witnessed by a teacher at the scene. Note, mirror? Noteworthy. Current hypothesis is related to sight. Because we had a vision sensor. Mirror. Chloe, a female in Teletron, was attacked by a meme and disappeared when she blew out the candles during her birthday celebration with her friends in Blue Hour. All witnesses are currently receiving treatment from motivators. Note, more attacks occurred in dark or dim environments. Is sight really a trigger? Carissa, a female Halovian, was harassed by a fervent fan backstage before her performance in the moment of Scorch Sound and was subsequently abducted by a meme during her escape. The Bloodhound family has been apprehended, has apprehended the fan. Note, abducted. Keep a lookout for this fervent fan. Dorian, a male human, took a nap before the end of, the sh end of his shift <laughs> in the moment of daybreak without telling his managers and was abducted by an unknown meme hiding under a chair. All of these stories are a bit not related, it feels like. <laughs> They're all a bit random. Emergency intervention was provided and production at the factory has resumed as usual. Note, taking a nap, <laughs> plus consider discussing with the Alfalfa family about increased vacation time and additional breaks for workers. Wow, they're, they're, they're surprisingly humane. They're thinking about rechecking how hard they're working everyone, instead of thinking about how to punish them, for instance, for taking naps. <laughs> Marlo, a male human, Disappeared after being involved in a car accident in Golden Hour. Witnesses reported the presence of an eerie meme who fled underground at the scene of the accident. Note, this is a genuine cause of death. The meme must be connected to concepts such as death and murder. The list comprises of over a hundred cases related to the memory zone meme death. However, the author of the list seems to still struggle with figuring out the pattern. But there doesn't seem to be any common Robin, Firefly, and the other victims. I don't see any commonalities among them. Looks like the rumors were right. Death does seem to be targeting random victims. And the, the methods are really random too. And based on Sunday's notes, he's no, he's no stranger to death. So it's implying Sunday was the one who wrote the notes. Note. He's... Just surprised that it has resurfaced. Keep looking for clues. Ah, and that's when I can go to the table. The more, the better. Since no one is stopping you, it shouldn't cause too much trouble if you keep poking around, right? 
<laughs> I don't feel like soon someone will stumble through the door. A letter from Alfalfa to Sunday. This is after. I have been informed about Robin and I would like to express my deepest condolences. However, I must remind you that you now hold the position of not only her elder brother, but also the head of the Oak family. Your every action has implications for all of Panacone. I must remind you, you now hold the position of not only her elder brother, but also the head of the Oak family. As Panacone is going through a critical period, it's crucial you do not allow your hatred to cloud your judgment. And be cautious not to engage in activities that others can use against you as leverage. I heard that you're planning to dedicate a significant amount of time and resources to find death. Such action does not serve the best interest of the family as a whole, and I strongly advise you to reconsider it to avoid potential impeachments from other family heads. While you are convinced that death is connected to the Watchmaker, I have met that Watchmaker many times long before the Dream Master adopted you and your sister, and I have never found any evidence linking him to the Memory Zone meme. Now that you're the head of the Oak family, it is essential that you assess the situation objectively and consider the bigger picture. It is unwise to allocate all of Panacone's resources and manpower for the sake of a personal vendetta, as this would bring dishonor to the Great One. The Tarmony Festival is on the horizon, and the Watchmaker's guests are all barely holding back their own agendas. But how can the Tarmony Festival even proceed without Robin? Neither you nor I could face the severe consequences if Dominicus's arrival is delayed. Therefore, I urge you to control your emotions and fulfill your responsibilities as the head of the Oak family, focusing only on the festival and avoiding any interference from external sources. In addition, we must not neglect the honored guests invited by the Watchmaker as mishandling this matter could lead to diplomatic conflicts with other major factions, involving us in disputes that could have been avoided. <laughs> As your elder, I hope you comprehend the gravity of the situation and handle it appropriately. As for the matter of Robin, there would be time to pursue it once the festival concludes. By then, I will provide you with the necessary resources and manpower in the name of the Alfafa family, to help you get your revenge. Additionally, I have heard rumors that the Dream Master... Who is the Dream Master? The Dream Master is not entirely pleased with your recent activities. I advise you to conduct yourself with caution. Yours sincerely, old OT. Seems neither the Dream Master of Pentacony nor this old OT is happy with Sunday's recent performance. They don't seem to care much about death. Instead, they're more concerned about the Charmony Festival and the Watchmaker. Maybe the other family heads don't think death is a big deal. One thing's for sure, there's a lot of internal conflict within the family and everybody has their own agenda. Oh, let's read the last one. List of suspects. Esteemed head of the Oak family. The investigation into all the suspects involved in the death case has been concluded. The findings are summarized below for your review. There are a total of 52 suspects. Followed by Sunday's note, perhaps there is a common thread among them. I have reached a conclusion. There's a common thread from these. <laughs> I guess I'll see. Haven't found any common threads. 
Sunday seems to have found a common thread. I have reached a conclusion. Mr. Sunday has done some serious research on the suspects. This traitor must have been causing trouble for the family for a long time. 看起来都是家族的内部人员呢，但我没见过其中任何一人. The trailblazer has met them. They all seem to be insiders, but I haven't met any of them. 嗯，这些特征。Oh, wait, these characteristics. 黄俊小姐想到了什么? What are you thinking of? 没什么，应该是我多虑了。如果这名叛徒真的存在，会不会就是他害死了刘莹和知更鸟小姐？Nothing. Maybe I'm just overthinking things. However, if this traitor really exists, could they be responsible for Firefly and Robin's deaths?或许，这就是星期日如此重视这件事的原因。That's perhaps why Sunday is taking this matter so seriously. 就到这里吧。似乎没什么值得注意的了。That's all for now. Nothing more noteworthy. 踏入大门前，我设想过种种与家族打交道的场面，可没想到迎接我们的只有一座空宅。Maybe Sunday wants them to find this, so now they have the info and they can help him find the traitor too. Before coming here, I had all sorts of scenarios in my head about dealing with the family. I did not expect an empty mansion. 小心,有人来了。Someone's here. 未经允许擅闯禁地。Sunday! 这恐怕不是做客之道吧。瓦尔特先生,还有... You clearly let us in, Sunday. I don't think trespassing on forbidden areas is the way to be a guest, Mr. Young and... 巡海游侠,黄泉女士。Acheron the Galaxy Ranger. 抱歉,星期日先生,我们没找到任何可以通报的人员,才擅自进入贵府,还请您多加原谅。Wow, <laughs> already thought of an excuse? Or not an excuse, uh, explanation. Apologies, Mr. Sunday. We couldn't find anyone to greet us, so we entered without permission. I hope you can forgive us. Nobody came to greet us. In Chinese, it was more like I couldn't find anyone to, to announce that we were coming. <laughs> so we entered without permission. If there is no one there, shouldn't you wait for the host? This位巡海游侠暂且不提,就我所知,星穹列车已经在正式场合接受了家族的委托。他是没必要再特地大驾光临吗? Even without the fame, even without the famous Galaxy Ranger, as far as I know, the crew has officially accepted the family's commission. So coming here will be unnecessary for you. What was this? This位巡海游侠暂且不提，就我所知，星穹列车已经在正式场合接受了家族的委托。他是没必要再特地大驾光临吗? On the first part, he said we'll discuss the Galaxy Ranger later. <laughs> and then and then he went to discuss Welt and how he is part of the crew. 我们此行前来,正是为了同星期日先生了解案情,以免调查过程中出现闪失。That's on the contrary, that's exactly why we're here. To ask you about the case and gather more information. We don't want any loose ends. <sighs><笑> um, since you've come with good will, I have no reason to show you the door. Rest assured, he hasn't figured out we went through those documents. Or maybe we weren't supposed to go through those documents. <laughs> While the truth remains a mystery, I'm getting close to it. I 
can assure you, the traitor will soon pay the price. 愿公义早日得以彰显，但我个人还有一点疑问，想请教星期日先生，家族究竟是如何断定凶手潜藏在内部的 ？Let's hope justice will prevail soon. I have a question for you, if you don't mind. How did the family come to the conclusion that the murder was within the family? 恕我直言。有人试图在协约大典召开前夕引发混乱，这恰恰符合公司的利益。家族应当有理由怀疑是公司在从中作梗。With all due respect, it's the IPC's interest to wreak havoc before the Charmony Festival, and the family has every reason to suspect the IPC's involvement. 其他家主也提出了和您一样的疑虑，但在我看来。真正的凶手绝不会像那位使节一样招摇过市，更何况，我早已亲手为他套上枷锁。Well, the other family had shared the same suspicion as you, but in my opinion, the true murder would never have drawn as much attention as that ambassador ambassador did. Not to mention, I personally shackled him a while ago. 不过，我反而要将瓦尔特先生的疑虑提示给二位。在我看来，更应当对沙金保持警惕的是你们。恶人固然无法撼动高墙，但却能将尖刀刺进一人的心脏。However, I'll give you a suggestion regarding your suspicions, Mr. Young. You should be more cautious of adventuring. While the wicked can't break through high walls, <laughs> he's referencing the family as the high walls. They can plunge. Their evil dagger into the heart of the righteous. Our express crew. 他是商人，不是慈善家。可眼下他正在街道上四处散财，又独自去往克劳克影视乐园的方向，不知打的是什么算盘。Are they even translated? <laughs> Who knows what kind of scheme he's cooking up? He's not a businessman. Oh, he is a businessman, not some philanthropist. But right now. He's out there handing out his wealth on the streets, and he went to the Clock Studios theme park all by himself. Who knows what kind of scheme he's cooking up? <笑>家族依旧承诺会保护来宾周全，但各位也不妨留个心眼。While、well, the family is dedicated to keeping our guests safe, it doesn't sound like you were keeping a lot of people safe based on how many people were dead on the dying list. It might be wise for you to stay alert. 以免不测之忧。Something was happening in Clock Studios. That's what Gallagher went to investigate. You never know what unexpected troubles could arise. Now we're going back to Adventuring POV. 据毕尔波因特热线消息，骇人听闻的艾吉哈佐杀金案获得重大突破，犯罪嫌疑人现已落网。According to a Pure Point Hotline tip, there was a major breakthrough in the shocking Edgy Hazo adventuring case. The suspect has been arrested. 该诈骗案牵连星际和平公司与博士学会多个部门，导致大量人力物力资源浪费。The fraud case has been linked to many departments within Interastral Peace Corporation and the Intelligentsia Guild, causing a large drain. The fraud case, causing a large drain in manpower and resources, resulting in the IPC taking a massive loss. 本案嫌疑人来自茨冈尼亚四号，是第二次卡提卡埃维金灭绝案件的幸存者之一，且并未持有星际难民旅行证。Adventuring. The case's main suspect originates from Sigonia Four and is one of the survivors of the second Katika Avgen extinction event. Who does not carry an interstellar refugee traveler travel permit? In the strategic planning director's presence, the company is based on its sound mission to prevent the extinction of the event and to continue the investigation work to further confirm the suspect's motivation. As per strategic investment department had diamond sentiments, the IPC has appropriately relocated the suspect 
in the spirit of the charter and will continue to further investigate, conduct further investigations as to the motive of the suspect. Wait, is that di diamond? <laughs> Jade? Oh! Jade is quite a character. <gasps> I see. This is Jade talking to Aventuring. Jade will be playable in the future, right? Jade will be the new mommy. I was not expecting to see Jade in here. Sorry, Topaz. <laughs> Sorry, Topaz, you are now benched. <laughs> wow. I see, you can see her. She's wearing the Jade. I like her. I like her gloves. What pretty eyes. Tell me, do they shine in the dark? Oh, I see Aventuring is shackled to the chair over here. My head's blocking. Aventuring has a a chain around his neck. I guess he's being interrogated by Jade. His answer was more of if he could, I'd sell them, he'd sell them. Not if they shown, he'd sell them. I think he was just saying if he could sell his eyes, he would sell them. <laughs> oh, he killed his master. I see that's what happened. You don't know how many people long for your eyes to be closed forever. As a servant, you should not resist your master. Yeah, you went and killed that man anyway. I just realized she has an asymmetric strap over here. There's the blue one and then there's the white one and... Whole universe really loves their asymmetries. <laughs> Everything is asymmetrical. She has a little bow tie over here and I think her other... This arm might not even... She might even have like a sleeve on this arm. And then she has something else going on on the other arm. <laughs> and then even the two sides are a bit different. Do I see the jade? This one, right? Her necklace? Ahoyo loves their asymmetrical designs. Now we just need to see if she has disconnected sleeves and an open back. <laughs> I wouldn't doubt it. <laughs> I'm guessing she doesn't have an earring on the other ear. She probably only has one earring too. <laughs> you bet she has a leg choker. <laughs> and an armpit window. Her hat is nice. I like her hat. The bow on her hat is also the same as the bow over right here. No lawyer has the audacity to defend you. Perhaps you ought to represent yourself. It's not difficult. But it's pointless. You're pretty confident on your eloquence. Did you also think that when you lied to the intelligentsia guild? Ask and you shall receive. You wanted the perfect construction material. Here, I see he's still Kakavasha. Because Kakavasha, he only became a venturing after he became one of the ten. The ten, I forgot how the stone, the ten stone, stone hearts. <laughs> you wanted the perfect construction material. All I wanted, all I did was offer a possibility. It was just a small wager. If your luck's out, the IPC will dig something up from the golden sands of Egihazo, maybe even the Sand King's remains. The pity your luck has run out. Why 
I'll admit that what I'm more curious about, though, is why such a grand scheme failed to benefit anyone in the end, including the perpetrator himself. You see, I received what I wanted. I was brought to you in front of you to start the next round. That was his purpose. Madam, I already have achieved what I wanted. To be brought before you for the next high-stakes gamble. The music stopped. That's just the first round. Let's talk. What are you planning to do next time? Let's talk about the second gamble. Let's talk about the second gamble. Tell me, what are you prepared to wager this time? My life. I bet you won't send me to the gallows. Hmm. What do you want? I want you to meet me at the gallows. I want you to meet me at the gallows. I want you to meet me at the gallows. I want you to meet me at the gallows. He doesn't just want to meet with her. He wants to meet with the chief. Boston, I have something to say. And then what? I want cash. <laughs> I want money. It can't be that simple, can it? It is it is that simple. Thirty copper coins. The remainder of my market value. Thirty tambas, no more, no less. He wants to be truly free. 只要有了这些钱，我就能爬到比你更高的位置，手握比你更多的财富。我赌你不敢给我，所以叫他过来吧。With this money, I'll climb to even greater heights than you, grasp even more riches than you. I wager you won't give me this chance, which is why you should call him here. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, Diamond is the a pity diamond won't see you. No one gets to see him. From here on out, I am Diamond's representative, and I will decide on his behalf. Why doesn't Diamond? 可惜，钻石不会见你，谁也见不到他。所以此刻，我就是钻石的代理人，替他做出决定。But she doesn't say from here on now. She says, "In this moment, I am Diamond's representative, and I will decide on his behalf." So Diamond is our chief. Diamond's probably super sick. It seems confirmed. Diamond is male. He sounds really powerful, but it seems a bit weird. The way she said, "No one gets to see him." I felt like the implication was, "You can't, you can't find him." <laughs> It's not that you don't get to see him. It's like he, even she, potentially doesn't know where he is, kind of thing. Oh, he is, he is an emanator. <laughs> you don't get to see Diamond. Diamond chooses to see you. Yes. You 错了，三十枚塔安巴我会给你，并且远比这更多。Oh. 财富、地位、权力，公司会给你想要和不想要的一切。You're wrong. Thirty tambas. I'll give you that, and much more than that. Wealth, status, power. The IPC will give you whatever you want, even what you don't want. Hmm. Kakawa Xia, is a good name. But it's destined to be buried in the sand. But you, it's worth living. You'll be able to build more wealth for us. Give us more wealth for us. Ka ka wa sha. She sees the potential in him. A good name, but unfortunately destined to be buried in the dirt. You, though, you deserve to live to create even more wealth for us. Go. 
，给自己挑身喜欢的衣服，再选个中意的身份，然后活用它们，孩子。Go pick the clothes you like and choose your desired identity, and then use them well, child. I said that's how he turned from what we first saw in the original scene to what happened here. 愿你的轨迹永不败露。愿你的轨迹永不败露。Oh, sounds like she's trying to give him the Avgen blessing, but doesn't know it fully. <laughs> That could be. Oh, Chinese is what Shajin's mom said. Same. Ah, I see. It's supposed to be what Kaka, what what his mom said to him. Which was may your schemes forever concealed. It's like that one I I see. 生命就像一场漫长的投资，选择正确的人，做出正确的事，抵达正确的结果，向世界展示自己的价值。Now、the first part is a bit different too. Life is like a long-term investment, choosing the correct people, choosing the correct things, achieving the correct outcomes, and showing the world your value.、And、the first line is about how you're. You need to choose the right people, not those who choose correctly. I guess I didn't even have a thing about choosing the people in here. 人不可能一辈子只做正确的决定，但好运总是站在我这边。我从未输过。People can't always make the right choices in their lives, but luck has always been on my side. I've never. 是因为母神在保佑我吗？既然如此，此刻她也一定注视着我吧。我定然能获得成功。Is it because Gaiathra is blessing me? If that's the case, then she must also be looking upon me right now. My success is destined. 可是。然后 ，But what then? 倘若我成功度过这道难关，接下来又是什么？在一场盛大的赌局后，等待着我的，是另一场更盛大的赌局吗 ？Even if I overcome this difficult trial, what would come next? What would await me after this glorious gamble? An even more glorious one. Interesting thoughts about from our adventure. 是在一次又一次成功后，带着不可胜数的筹码满载而归，还是在一次失败后？ Will I return triumphant with unending riches after countless successes, or will I? 便一去不。Never return after encountering a failure. But how did it? Or will I encounter a failure? Ah, never to return. He has never lost yet, though. <laughs> 难道你心里没点数吗 ？Do you not have any ideas? 卑贱的赌徒。Lonely gambler. Was that Sunday? Who was talking? What? Was that himself? I was in a dream. <laughs> Am I dreaming or have I gone completely insane? <laughs> Perhaps both. Forgotten me already? When you were strapped to that electric chair by. Ian Monik and warlords. 
Who was it that gave you the idea? There are two adventure means. Everything is fine. <laughs> 行了，我可能疯，但不傻。从我脑袋里滚出去，同席的新生儿。Be crazy, but I'm not stupid. Get out of my head, newborn of the harmony. Newborn of the harmony. <laughs> 同席，别傻了，我们又不是第一次见面，不用这么见外了。He thinks he thinks it's like a part of him born from the harmony's influence. The harmony. Don't play the fool. It's not the first time we've met. No need to be so polite. 我就是你，甚至比你更了解自己，更知道你到底想要什么。你快死了，死到临头还想拉几个倒霉蛋一起上路，所以你才会来这儿，不是吗 ？I'm you, and perhaps even more aware of yourself than you, of what exactly you want. You're dying, and you still want to drag a bunch of unfortunate fools with you through death's door. That's why you're here, isn't it? <laughs> a grand unveiling. You really think you can pull it off? The tone of voice almost sounds a bit like Sparkle. A Sparkle wouldn't know about his past. Why not? You may have fooled everyone, but you can't fool yourself. I can prove myself. Before you're entirely gone, I'll be with you for the last stretch of the road. Let's have a heart to heart while we walk. <laughs> what kind of cursed creature are you? 这世上的大部分人，终其一生只为抵达一种结果，而我就是那个结果。To become schizophrenic, <laughs> most people in their lives, most people in this world spend their entire lives to reach one outcome, and I am that outcome. To go insane, <laughs> me and myself and I. Welcome, Dumpson, to this stream. Kaka wa xia. I am your future. First is hearing, now is perception. Great. Next is am I going to be elevated to the harmony emanator next? Am I going to be elevated to the harmony emanator next? Am I going to be elevated to the harmony emanator next? What is that chicken wing boy doing? 